ladies and gentlemen, I just want to wish you guys a uh, Christmas, uh, happy Christmas Eve today. Uh, this is the 21st, 24th of December, starting the first day of the streamer event, uh, streamer week for Pantheon Rise of the Fallen. If you guys are watching this through uh, YouTube VODs, welcome, welcome to the stream. You can catch this live at Annoying Llama uh, at twitch.tv slash Annoying Llama. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys soon. If you are on, on Twitch right now, your music is going to be popping up soon. But I want to make sure to get this very clear before we go any further. This is a pre-alpha. I could only stream this for a week. Um, and like me and other streamers out there, I can only stream this for a week. If you have pre-alpha access, if you have any questions or anything like that, please put that in the comments below in the YouTube video, the YouTube VOD, or in the stream itself. Um, going forward, I do want to say this. Yeah, again, this is pre-alpha. Uh, animations are going to be off. Things are going to be crazy, but the game is not finished. So going forward, that's when I want to uh, make sure to put that very clear to everyone. I will be reiterating this when the stream actually starts, when the countdown ends. So again, hope you guys enjoy the stream. Let's get this started. Uh, and so I just left the follow. So everybody, right, welcome, welcome to the stream. Dwimble, welcome to the fucking stream, my man. Welcome, welcome. Um, <laughs> I just want to reiterate, guys. This is a pre-alpha for Pantheon Rise of the Fallen. So again, I will see you guys soon. Let's get this stream started. I'm going to put some music on. Let's get this countdown, boys. And don't forget to get some food and water. Shit's about to get you. Got to go do some Christmas stuff, but have fun with the stream, Llama. Yo, Dwimble, thank you so much for the fucking follow. You are a fucking G. Thank you so much. Merry fucking Christmas, everyone. Have a damn good Christmas. Again, I will see you guys soon. Yo, thank you so much for the fucking, uh, sub prime Pantheon Plus. You guys are fucking amazing. Mass respect to you guys. Seriously, let's get some people in here. Thank you so much, my brother. Thank you so much. Let's get some food and water, guys. Merry fucking Christmas Eve, and let's get this shit started.
have left. So how hard is it to kill Lady Vok? For those who are just coming in, welcome, welcome to the stream. I hope you guys are definitely ready to enjoy yourself in this momentous moment. Uh, again, get your food, get your water, get everything going, guys. Shit is about to get real in about one minute. So, again, thank you all for coming to the stream. I hope you guys definitely just enjoy the countdown. Don't forget to also request some music, exclamation point SR, uh, and any songs from SoundCloud and YouTube, so you can even uh, put in your local SoundCloud rapper. So, haha. So, uh, <laughs> so again... See you guys soon. Let's get this shit. Get, let's get the hype going. Gulio, Gulio, welcome to the fucking stream, my man. And for those who are watching this on YouTube, VOD, hi. Join us on twitch.tv slash annoying llama. Thank you so much. The great Vendi. Is it, is it Vendini? It's Vendini. Thank you so much. The great Vendini. Vin, yeah. Great Vendini. Welcome to the fucking stream. Pantheon Plus forever. Let's do this shit, guys.
Let's do this! Ladies and gentlemen, today's the fucking day. Let's get this music down a little bit. Guys, holy shit. Can we just can we just get a fucking just a big booyah for this shit, guys? This is I am trying to get everything set up in the background, so do mind me. But guys, I just want to say thank you all for coming in here. This is going to be a momentous moment. Today is the fucking day. Yes, Pantheon Plus. Thank you so much. Shout out to Pantheon Plus, guys. I, you guys, you guys don't understand how much I love Pantheon Plus. And even before I, I became part of the Saturday Morning Heroes. If you have not followed them on Twitch or YouTube, oh, yo, the on the YouTubes, yo, fucking follow them, all right? Okay, give me a second. Give me a second while I get my fucking background set up. There we go. All right. There we go. Gulio Gulio in here. Guys, no more bullshit, guys. Today's the fucking day. Let's do this shit. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Annoying Llama. As I get my light on, there we go. My name's Annoying Llama. Back at it again with another fucking day on Christmas fucking Eve. And boy, have God has gifted us the gift of streaming. Because, guys, it is your boy Annoying Llama streaming the one game I've been wanting to fucking stream for a very long time. Like, you guys don't understand how long I've been. And I, 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 to give you guys a little bit of a... A little bit of a... Uh, a history lesson uh, of what where I've been through on my Pantheon journey, where I have not really talked about it as much. I understand, dude. So you, uh, we, we all understand. Get that, get that, get that fucking that that Dapo. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Like whoa, whoa, whoa! Like yeah, we were like, what the fuck? Um, uh, looking for group. What's up, Llama? Yo, Marwas Gaming. Welcome to the fucking stream. Yo, guys, I started following Pantheon back in 2017. That was around the time, I do believe my very first introduction to Pantheon Rise of the Fallen was when Ko did the Monk video, which made me fall in love with Monk. Um, but Ko was doing the Monk stream. I think they were in the tower. It was the one where they were in the uh, the tower. Oh, no, 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 no. It was the one where they were going around, like, killing shit. But then the second one I saw was one where they were in that, that one floating tower or something like that. And they were, like, jumping off the edge of the very beginning. If you guys know that, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. I don't know, like, like the fucking... Like intricacies of the fucking places. I just know a lot of the lore thanks to Chris uh, Chris Kane's uh, lore videos. But the point is, I have been following Pantheon for, since 2017. I am I am a 24 year old dude now. Like I'm a youngling amongst the community. You know, I, I'm the I'm the, I'm like the I'm the kid trying to get the 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 fucking the cool kids inside Pantheon. Like all the cool kids play Pantheon. Come on in. Like like I. Love Pantheon Rise of Fallen. They have been through some ups. They have been through some downs. Some heartbreaking moments. Passing of people passing away, including uh uh what uh, um um uh, you you know who the fuck I'm talking about. The creator of the fucking game. Um, uh, but I uh, R I P. By the way, Matt's R I P. But seriously, you guys uh you guys understand? Like Brad McQuaid. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that I uh, see Brad McQuaid. That that name just like does not like fit in my head. Yes, R.I.P. to Brad McQuaid, guys. But he made a vision. We are all here because of that fucking vision. And again, it's been a long ass time. But I got introduced to Pantheon Plus when freaking Minus was still leading it, and I was been a big fan ever since. Big fan ever since. But this is not my this, this is not my moment to fanboy because I know you guys are here to watch Pantheon Rise of the Fallen content. So if you guys are watching this on the VOD, skip to this shit. But let me just gush for a second. I love the community in this game. I've been following for a long time. I've been loving it for a long time. It's because of this fanboy. Oh, oh, don't get me started. Uh, Merry Christmas. All right. Merry fucking Christmas, everyone, by the way. And like I said, uh, Lord Hostel, welcome to the fucking stream. Yes, this is a Christmas momentum fucking moment. So, guys, let's get hyped. Again, we are playing the pre alpha. So, I must stress this enough. This is the pre-alpha of Pantheon Rise of the Fucking Fallen. All right, and this shit has the fucking in the title because this shit's about to fuck up my time when this shit comes out. <laughs> all right, and 
I we have we have risen and we have fallen, ladies and gentlemen. This is the moment we have been fucking waiting for forever. And even though we get a week to stream it, I will do my best to even on Christmas. Now on the 27th, I do, I cannot stream it because it'll be my fiance's birthday. But beyond that, I will do as much as I can to give you as much content as I can with Pantheon of Eyes of the Fallen. I already have a level four cleric. So if you guys already are on playing pre-alpha, there it is. So if the stream happens to be a little bit laggy, it's because probably a little bit of optimization issues. That's another thing. It's not the game. It's my dungeons in my stream. The animations are a bit off, but let's get this started and dive right fucking in. Our treats today is a Pepsi Nitro, a fucking Pepsi Nitro, and some cotton candy that my fiance just happened to give to me because she doesn't want it. But guys, let's get in this shit. Only Alpha access here. I can't wait to play uh, with you someday. Oh, pfft. you will. You will. I, I think, honestly, when they start getting everything going, then it you will. You definitely will. I know there's a lot of people on right now. So, if there, like I said, if the stream is laggy, please let me know. I did a little bit of extra testing beforehand. Um, like I said, I can, I can fix it. I, can, I have to reduce the quality of the stream, but hopefully that won't have to come to that case. So, yeah. Um, but, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to the stream. Like I said, it is your boy, Noi Llama. We are playing Pantheon Rides of the Fallen. Is the stream laggy, chat? I do have to ask this. Is the stream a little bit laggy? If it is, please let me know. If it's looking fine, then I can continue with stress-free and everything. I'm just walking around to kind of really get to see if it's lagging or not. Looks good to me. Looks good. Okay. See, it, on my stream labs, it like looks like it's lagging a lot and stuff like that. It, like, should it froze, actually, my, my fucking stream labs. There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, so yeah, as long as it looks good to me, it's, that's all that matters. All right. So, I might just turn off the preview. Actually, let me turn off the projector. Um, there we go. There we go. That should look a lot better. All right, guys. But welcome to the fucking stream, guys. I hope you guys are definitely indulging yourself today. Like I said, we're what we're going to be doing in Pantheon of Resident Fallen right now is to basically just kind of run, run around, ask questions. If you guys have any questions for the game, please l let me know. If you have anything to talk about with the game, uh, what my experiences have been with uh, pre-alpha, which we will be talking about, by the way, naturally. We'll be talking about my experiences with pre-alpha, what I think they should fix, what things they, they might be adding. Um, Desiren has made a really good, like, he makes, like, really good, like, videos, too. And same thing with Pantheon Plus. Make a lot of great videos on, like, updating you with the game, talking about the game, you know, like, things like patch notes and stuff like that. Now that we have looked at the NDA on verbally, we can actually be able to make the content behind this. And I will be also making a video. I'm actually in the plans of making a video. Um, oh, shit! Yo, thank you so much, Gilio Gaming, for the fuck, 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 my guy. Yeah, damn right. Fuck, the game is fuck. In a good way. But my whole thing with this game is I want to try to get into some content for you guys to show you all a lot of shit while talking about uh, things like when it comes to pre-alpha. Uh, what was it? Level 4 cleric. Uh, cleric looking for group. Looking for a Okay. And I might be able to also get with the guildies on here too, guys. But before we go any further with Pantheon content, guys. Pantheon Plus, Julio, everybody. How has your day been? How has everybody been so far? Like, how's life been so far? Are you guys doing great? Are you guys enjoying yourselves? How are you guys? And also, Merry fucking Christmas. Are you guys ready for Christmas? You know, are you guys ready for that Christmas? You know, that mwah, that Christmas, good presents, good food, chilling out and ready to have some fun, man. But be, while you guys are answering that, let me continue. Um, I'm going to put myself on looking for group. Okay. What I want to say is that when it comes to Pantheon Rise of the Fallen, when it comes to its pre-alpha, it has been, I would say, an experience. Now, I know people have been complaining about the new art style. I was one of those people. I'm not going to lie. I was one of those people who were like, what the fuck is this? Uh, been busy. Uh, got a couple hours before I dive into Christmas Eve stuff. Hey, that's even fucking better, dude. I, me and my fiance are just going to clean up, clean up our entire apartment. We got all that shit handled, so then we don't have to really worry about any crazy shit. Um... What levels are these fucking deer? All right, they should be good. And then there's a good die recruit right there. You about to die? Oh, someone just died. All right, let me finish off this guy. Yeah. So, yeah, guys. Um, yo, what's up, Vader Ren? Welcome, welcome to the fucking stream. Ooh, nice. Um, 
I said for those who are just coming in, we are playing Pantheon Rise of the Fallen. Uh, but when it comes to, like I was like, let me continue. When it comes to the pre-alpha state, it has been an experience. They have improved the art style since then. As you guys see, I have this set to Ultra. Uh, like I said, hopefully, as I was worried about it lagging up my stream or something like that. Uh, I have it set to Ultra because I want to really kind of show you guys just like somewhat of what they have been working on. The day and night cycle looks amazing. When it's night, it is fucking night. If you guys have seen my Embers of Drift streams, you would know it's fucking nighttime. All right. It is dark. It is it, they, and they are not afraid to really show how dangerous this shit can get in the fucking dark. Um, that being said, the, the the sound design is fucking amazing. I will actually turn this up just so you guys can actually hear this. The sound design is fucking amazing. Now, like I said, the animations are a bit off because again, this is pre-alpha. They are definitely working on that. Uh, the animations are a bit off. I do not like the attacking animation that they currently have in. I think they should definitely have more, like, you know, just, like, more animation to the swings and stuff like that. Besides that, for what we got now, though, for a pre-alpha state, and... Oh, I think this didn't just freeze. Um, for the pre-alpha state, uh... Oh, my God, I think servers are going down. Oh, no. Oh, I just I had to kill the rat. Okay. So, is this a new game? Yes and no. And yes, in the sense of like, it's it's a new game as it, it is in the works of coming out. No, in the sense of like, it didn't just come out. This has been 10 years in development. They have been through some struggles, been up through ups and downs. But Pantheon Rise of the Fallen is an MMORPG that has been going on for a while now. And their whole aim is to basically become the next... Not really the next EQ, but the next old style, old school kind of MMO kind of play style. That's how I see it personally. Uh, anybody else in chat could definitely explain that any better. Um, but yes, Pantheon Rise of the Fallen, this is currently the pre-alpha of the game. So animations are going to look off. Models are sometimes going to look off. Combat's going to feel a little bit, look a little weird. But again, there's a difference between also just looking at it as I'm going to try to do my best to present it the best I can. And also how it actually plays now how it looks from an outside perspective if you're really into this old style kind of like you know like you know stuff you understand it's pre-alpha and everything like that the next evolution of classic slash old school mmo style thank you so much Gulio. thank you that's the best way to fucking explain it um that's a very good way to explain it thank you so much yes it is the next evolution of classic slash old school mmo uh style mmorpgs the new r cell as much people complained about it it actually adds a lot more to the game. Pantheon and themselves have literally said that they wanted to create a specific style to really bring up Pantheon. And dude, this is me fucking look, look at this. I, I just want to give you guys a like a, a, a feel. This look at the distance. I think Desiren did. I, I, I uh, Pantheon Plus, could you link in chat the uh, the Desiren video where he like kind of shows the environments and the sound design and stuff like that? I can't really capture it here because I am playing the game. Which, I mean, I technically can and cannot, but Desiree did a damn fucking good job of going around. Yeah, that castle fort looks cool. Yeah, this shit looks cool. We can't enter in it yet. They have not finished the inside of that yet, um, but it looks fucking amazing. And look, you could just look. You get the fucking big old tower over there. I do. It's like the mage tower area. Uh, you could like you look at a little fucking thing over there. That's the uh, that's the cleric spot. You get the main little city over here, which I think I believe is called Velia. Um, again, not really big on, I, I haven't, like, really, like, know which, like, a lot of spots are. Um, but the game is beautiful. The game is beautiful. And again, they're still working, they're still tuning, fine-tuning the art style to really get, add that crispness to it. But for what they have, the lighting at nighttime, even down to, the, they actually changed the design a little bit of the male character. And I know, like, the, the for a lot of people, the graphics are a little bit, like, eh, like, it has this really cartoony kind of feel. But they're adding a lot of grit to it to really kind of feel more like it's its own world. And the art style itself is just fucking amazing. I think they did a damn good job of establishing it down to the uh, the animations of the spider and stuff like that. Down to the fucking animations of like the bats. Um, even down to even down. They even fucking got down to the, even the ore of this stuff. I know the ore I think might be changing. But I, I, I already, I already kind of like the current design of the ore. It stands out more than the other designs. They might, I don't know if they might be changing or not, but still, I think the art design of Pantheon Rise of the Fallen looks fucking amazing. And I see I'm doing a little bit of profession and stuff, just showing off mining and stuff like that, just to kind of let you guys know there are professions in the game. Um, yep, yes, yep. 
Desby roll a video. Yep. Yep. Thank you so much, Pantheon Plus. Thank you. You guys are god tier. Thank you. Uh, yes, if you guys want to take your time to watch the video or at least save it or like it too, definitely support the, uh, definitely support Desert's channel and also Pantheon Plus on YouTube, also through Twitch. Um, but yes, I would say like this was this is the best video to really kind of get the vibe of what they're kind of going for. And this is again, this is only the first area of Pantheon Rise of the Fun. This is like the starter area. I do believe if I'm correct, the human starting area. Um, I might be wrong. I might be, it might be more than that, but they have different races and stuff like that are going to be implemented into the game. So it's not just like, uh, it's not like Embers of Drift where you just only play as a human. It is a very high fantasy feel where you have magic. You, I'm playing as a cleric right now. When you have magic and stuff like that, you have, you have all this stuff. Like you've got all these things like, you know, like very high fantasy. Stormhold uh, uh, is a human area. Oh, really? Really? So it, wait, is this area called Stormhold? I, I never do that. I actually never fucking do that. That that's actually new to me. Yeah, I I did not know that. I that is that is, that is fucking, that is new. <laughs> oh, that's the city. Oh, this is the oh this is Stormhold. Yeah, I'm gonna show up the city right now, chat. I'm I'm gonna show up the city to for you guys, so then you guys know. Yeah, this fucker's huge. By the way, the scale of this castle and, and this thing, they're not even finished with it yet. So we haven't even seen the inside of the castle. They already have some quests implemented too to kind of show off that. I know it feels a little bit bright on my screen, but I do apologize. I might, I might just try to see if I can reduce that a little bit. Um, no, we got a shadow distance. No, no, it's, everything's meshed pretty good. From what it looks like. Yeah, fuck, I can't even. Oh, no, no, yeah. It's just bright as fuck because it's morning. Look at that, look at that. And the sky looks, I love the skybox. The skybox is fucking amazing. You should see the nighttime. I'm gonna show you guys the nighttime skybox. And look, the clouds. Dude, the clouds when they go over, oh my god, that's such a, I love that in Embers Adrift, they have that same kind of feel where it's like the clouds kind of go over you, and you may not be able to see the clouds kind of go over you, but you could really see it move, and it just adds to the world that you're in. And I can't enter into the city, by the way, but to kind of get, so this, but that's the city. Okay, the city is called Stormhold. They get the throne fast, and this isn't thrown fast, I do believe so. Um, but yeah, this, 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 this city is fucking huge. And they haven't, they haven't even finished it yet. Again, they have not finished it yet. But again, uh, this game, this game's art style, like going back to what I was saying about the art style, the art style really adds to the game. It adds to the flavor that you want to feel. It adds to this sense of direction. I think, I think it's the part, the best way to describe it. Like that, you know, the direction they're going for this game. Um, and so I think that's, I think it really adds to the, to the feel of what you're kind of, you're kind of expecting from the game. Um, so, so that's, that's kind of one thing I do want to mention there. That, that is, that is something that, that is, there is, that is very much, uh, um, what's the best way to explain it? It's, it's very much something that you should definitely look into. Uh, now regarding to the gameplay, I know I'm starting to, I'm, I don't feel like I'm all over the place, but like, if you guys have any questions for those who are just coming in, seeing Pantheon Rise of the Fallen for the first time, if you have any questions, ask in chat. And also for the haters of Pantheon. By the way, there are haters of Pantheon. Hi. If you are on the stream, hi, how are you doing? My name is Anoy Lama. If you got anything negative to say about Pantheon, please come here do it. I, I rather, I'd rather be like the catalyst of like the, the filter from that. Because then we can filter it out and see if we can create a discussion from it. So, just going to point that out now. But, uh, <laughs> I ain't that popular yet though. Uh, but what I want to say was the gameplay. I like what they have so far. Now I am playing the cleric. It is a healer class and stuff like that. I don't see anybody really. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to, trying to find a really good spot to really farm right now. I think I should just go over here. Actually, I think this is a nice little spot over here. Um, but yeah, no. When it comes to the the, the gameplay of this game, it's a very much slower pace. But if you all watch, if you all watch my um, if you all watch my what do you call it, my um, my Embers of Drift stream, you'll know that slower pace kind of games are kind of definitely the feel. Okay, I'm gonna definitely farm out this area. Uh, slower pace, this, this slower pace kind of feel the game is definitely something that, uh, I, I do much enjoy. Uh, let me, let me get this slot beetle. Uh, as a cleric, you are squishy as shit. I will admit. And luckily I was able to craft myself some, some gear to get myself started. 
But yeah, no, when it comes to this game, it, it is very much slower paced as you see the way the combat. The like I said, the animation style still needs to get in, but the combat does feel good. When it down to the healing, the mechanics, like the basic mechanics of your class. Uh so is it description based or is it playable uh, or is it closed access? So right now it is uh pledge only at this point. Like, you know, if you pledge to the game, uh you can actually get into the game and actually test it out, uh depending on which tier of pledge you have. As they get like to alpha, alpha players can start you know, people who pledge for alpha. Just never, so again, I'm doing pre-alpha. So this is pre-alpha. Um, for people who, who pledge to alpha, they can get it. But when the game does come out, it will be subscription based. Yes, it will be subscription based, 100. percent And unless they change that shit out of fucking nowhere, and I just forgot to reach in my mana. Holy fuck up. Um, <laughs> uh, it will be subscription based. Um. But yeah, right now, again, like I said, it is it is a pledge access kind of feel uh, that they're going for right now and stuff like that. And I'm getting my ass whooped by this fucking dude. And I'm getting back the fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay, chat. I actually might die. Hold up. Oh, oh, he's whooping my ass. Oh, fuck. I forgot to read you say I, the biggest mistake. See again, a, a good example of what not to do in Pantheon: Rise of the Fallen. Uh, regen your mana. Get your shit set up. Oh fuck! Oh my god! I'm, I'm gonna die. Oh fuck! I'm, I'm, fuck it! We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna. Oh shit! I'm gonna die. Yeah, I died. So this is something you should not do in Pantheon: Rise of the Fallen. Regen your mana. Get your shit together first before you go into combat. And you would definitely feel this harder kind of feel when it comes to the combat. The fact that I just forgot to regen my mana. That's a big, that's, these are big things. And older school MMOs definitely had that feel. Now, this game is past level 5, you start losing EXP and like lose your bags. You need to go back to your body to get your bags and shit like that. Yeah. Past level 5, this is luckily I'm level 4, so I don't have to really worry about that too much. Uh, they do have crafting somewhat implemented into the game and stuff like that. But again, so it's like classic wow yes 100 percent. it's like classic wow if you want to put it into that sense yeah 100 percent. definitely like classic wow also can we just crack this open for the chat mm. oh 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 excuse me i'm so sorry oh you dress up like ter terraria yes very good uh, what are you drinking i am drinking a a nitro pepsi a nitro Pepsi, yeah, one hundred percent. And yes, yes, you do drop your bags like uh fucking Terraria. I think this is, uh, you're making really good fucking. I, I think that you're making really good questions because because then I can actually compare it to more shit. Uh, yes, one hundred percent. You drop your shit like Terraria, but this time with Terraria, like nothing really disappears. You just kind of go back to your body and just kind of get it. Um, and like you know, one of the big things I think with the gameplay, I think they, what it feels is that you understand your class. And I think the best way to actually describe this, I think Joppa may have said this, who is the uh, head developer of the game right now. If I, I might be wrong on that title, by the way. Um, but when it comes to the game, you understand your class from the very beginning. They kind of, they set you up from like one to 10. They really set you up. To what your class is going to be. It's definitely a group centric game too. You understand that hey. As a cleric. I am a healer. You know. Joppa is creative director. Thank you. Okay so creative director. I said head. I had head developer. <laughs> yes. Creative director of the games. Which is basically kind of. Kind of that. You know. Head up that. He, he up there. Alright. He him. He is him. Joppa is him. Just want to say that now. Uh, how do you like the cleric so far? What race do you really plan to play? So funny enough, I am a basic bitch. And so I'm going to be playing a human monk. My 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 goal is to play a human monk. Uh now cleric so far is actually really fun. I've gotten my I've gotten the cleric before, but they had the wipe, the character wipe, to level seven. And from what I have, it was really good. Yo, a Merry Xmas, and thank you, and thanks for the stream. Always. Yo, yo, is it sap is it sapien? Thank you, oh, thank you for the fucking stream. Oh, thank you for coming for coming into the stream. Um. Uh, yeah, no, definitely come. Thank you for coming into the stream. Seriously, mass respect to that shit, my bro. Yeah, Merry fucking Christmas. Wait, so you had the option of archive monk, and you went human. Disappointing. Look, look, <laughs> look. Hear me out. <laughs> archive looks cool. If you guys don't know what an archive is, go on the Pantheon. 
uh, was it Pantheon, Pantheon Rise of Fallen dot com, and you'll be actually able to see the the concept of the races and stuff like that that they're going to be going for. If someone wouldn't mind leaking that into there, so you guys can actually see the website itself and see what Pantheon has to offer uh, when it comes to just the ideas and what they're going to go for. Also, you can see like you know develop. Um, uh, dev notes and shit like that, and you know, like monthly reviews and stuff. It's just like shit like that. Definitely go on there and definitely check that out. But yes, now Archive looks cool. I will admit, but I just like I I I, I mean a Scar Monk. Remember, I think Scars Scars can be monks still, right? I do believe Scars can be monks still, and Scar Monks looks cool. Like it looks nice. I was actually thinking about becoming Scar, but. Just something about human monks. Like, I'm a human. I get it. I'm a basic bitch. But, like... But... I like the concept of humans in this lore. Humans don't feel like, oh, we are humans. We have a kingdom. Ha 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 ha. We, we just conquer everything. Oh, there's other races. We're gonna be racist to them. Ha ha ha. Like, every other fucking game there ever was. There was always the humans being racist. Scar Monk is respectable. Yeah, see, that makes sense. I can see Scar Monk being, like, extra bleed damage type shit. You know, Archon, I feel like monks would be more like chi-based. And humans would be like kind of a balance of both. You know, more like staff-based. You know, they use more of the stuff. Like, b but lore-wise, it's very much interesting to see how they would play that out. But Archon looks cool. I'm not shitting on Archon by any means at all. But I, I just, I, I don't see as, as my, I mean, you see my avatar. I could have went to Archon Monk right there, but Human Monk just doesn't, and plus not only that, I'm a brother out here. I gotta represent for the squad, bruh. <laughs> oh my god, if they get, I, I will make sure, I will literally ask Joppa if they can get an afro into the Pantheon Rise of the Fallen. Just because, why not? <laughs> just because, why not? I will ask Joppa personally, can we have afros in Pantheon Rise of the Fall? And if he says yes, start uh, we start the afro push. You know what? You know what? Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. Say less. Fucking say I'm on Discord right now. I'm going to go into the Pantheon Discord right now. I'm going to go into the, pa uh, the Pantheon. I'm going to go into Pantheon Support. And I will ask fucking J Joppa right now. Next QA, I'm asking him right now. Joppa, hey, can we have Afros in Pantheon Rise of the Fallen? I'm asking this right now. I just typed it into the fucking Discord. I just typed it in the Discord. <laughs> I'm actually going to edit this to make sure to put a question mark so he knows it's a question. There you go. That's all. I just did it. The push starts now, goddammit. <laughs> if there wasn't plans beforehand, there will be plans now to have Afros in Pantheon Rides of the Fallen. You said it. You heard it. It started here, all right? But go <laughs> going back to what I was talking about before and before my ADHD takes over, yes. Uh, yes, no, Pantheon... <laughs> Pantheon Rides of the Fallen, it... It's gameplay is very much intuitive. When you play, and I don't know, did I even use that word right? Um, Afro for the people. You heard it here. You heard it here. You heard it here. Afro's the Pantheon Rise of the Fall. It starts here, starts now. Goddamn right. Goddamn right, Pantheon Plus. Fuck yes. Hit that shit. Hit that shit with the gritty, bro. Hit the fucking gritty. And you know what? I even go as far. If he could ask, if he can add Afros into the game, new human dance move is the fucking gritty. All right, <laughs> fuck it. The dance, the dance animation for humans should be the gritty. All right, <laughs> everyone drop the gritty in chat. All right, hit the fucking hit. You know, even hit the whip and then hit the fucking nay nay and shit in Pantheon, bro. I'm telling y'all. But going back to what I'm saying. When it comes to the gameplay of Pantheon Rise of the Fallen, the gameplay is fucking amazing. I love Pantheon's gameplay. The group-centric gameplay. I just passed what the fuck I was actually trying to go. Uh, the group-centric gameplay of this game is... Actually, no, I was going to go the right way. Uh, it's fucking amazing. It adds so much flavor. There's so much, like... There's so much indefiniteness when it comes to the combat. When you when you hit like skeletons, just basic skeletons that you have to fight in a group because they're that fucking hard. Like 
you really feel like, okay, handle the casters, handle this, handle that. W9, fuck yeah, bro. No, fuck yes. A fat W in chat, guys. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get this guy. Hold up. I'm going to pull this guy. Okay, rematch, bitch. Let's fucking go. Hit that shit. Let's come on. Let's get your ass over here. There we go. There we go. Let's get his ass. Now, these fuckers do hit hard as shit, like, especially the monk ones. These guys hit hard as fuck. There we go. Oh, fuck. By the way, if you guys are playing Pantheon Reservoir, I would have bought a group right now. <laughs> these fuckers hit hard as fuck. Oh my god, can I not win this fight? Oh my god, chat, I'm not gonna win this fight. War of attrition and I'm fucking losing. Oh my god. Oh fuck. <laughs> Did you con it? Yeah, it's a yo, it's a white con. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh shit. Okay, I got, I got a bubble, I got a bubble. That's good, that's good. That's a good start. That's a good start. See the, see, the clerics, the great thing about them is that they have a fucking bubble. Alright, I'm not gonna use Bash yet. I'm not gonna use Bash. I'm gonna use my mana. Use that. This is what I'm talking about. This is fucking. Yeah, no good. Yeah. Oh, okay, there we go. We got, we got it. 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 We got this. We got this. See, this is what I'm talking about. This shit. What's the level cap? 50. 50 is the level cap. Yep. Thank you. Thank you so much, 50 Plus. Yep. 50 be the cut. We got his ass. We got his ass. Yeah, get that ass back here. Get that ass back here. Yeah, no, you all that shit? You Yeah, all that talk. All that talk. Get fucked. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, so this is Pantheon Rise of the Fallen chat. Uh, so. <laughs> So yeah, this is Pantheon Rise of the Fall of the Nutshell. Yeah, no. So yeah, so when it comes to this gameplay, it's really, it's really good. Now I'm supposed to actually kill one of these guys with the white, with the white like punching thing. Uh, I could do that. You know what? Let me try that. Let me see if that works. Let me see if that actually makes the combat a little bit easier. It does two damage, but it hits fast as shit. So, I mean, I could make it work as a 2.7 delay compared to a 3.9. So I mean, it it, it will do something. But yeah, no, when it comes to the gameplay of this game, it's amazing. Now, if you want to play, if you want to see some really cool-ass gameplay, Monk. Monk has some good-ass gameplay. Oh, that's right. I didn't level up my hand-to-hand -hand combat. Fuck, wait. <laughs> but yeah, Monk feels really good in this game. I mean, Monk feels really, really good in this game. Oh my god. I played Monk throughout the pre-alpha. That was like my first character to play. Um, and Monk feels amazing. Holy shit. I'm, uh, he's dodging all of my fucking attacks. Now the thing with they see you see how I crit on my heels and it gives me a melee. The melee damage is rough. Oh, this because I'm using something that has like does like two fucking damage. But uh, there's a quest where I have to do where I have to fight this guy with with the the stuff. Yeah, and yeah, and the melee damage is rough. Yeah, no, 100. I'm getting my ass handed to me, and that's because I didn't level up my fucking skill. See again. Another thing you shouldn't do is always be pay attention to your weapon skill chat again. This, I'm just a walking learning lesson There we go Here's the thing I can't I have to like auto attack this guy to death And because I don't have any way to actually like hit him Yeah, uh, yeah, that, uh, that I've done that a while many times. Yeah, so you know the struggles so that you you understand you understand Vader like the, the the shit that you have to go through in these classic like kind of games and 100 like pantheon's like that uh about the ranger uh about to ranger gate oh dude oh my god oh yeah they've talked about adding the ranger into it mama guy to have to die like a fan hey you're not wrong <laughs> you're not wrong <laughs> you're not fucking wrong dude i i am getting my ass handed to me but i'm getting it with fucking style okay uh, I, ho I was hoping for that one to be a shield one. Ah, oh, fuck. If I can last, if I can last 10 more seconds, chat. We can do it, guys. Guys, let's ran it out, chat. Hopefully, we can last 10 more seconds. Come on. 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 Use it. Okay, there we go. Oh, motherfucker. We almost had it, chat. We almost had it. But my whole, this whole stream's not to watch me die. I promise you guys that. That is not to watch me die. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I will, I, and actually, you know what? Actually, I can do you guys even better with some of the clerics. Actually, camp. Let me do a new character with you guys. Oh, oh, a cool ambulance, <laughs> cool ambulance, but not for 
me. Oh my god. <laughs> that is so true. Now, I'm actually gonna make a new character for you guys. So I'm gonna call him Llama Monk. There we go. I'm gonna show you guys the monk gameplay. Now, again, they don't have the other races in here. I think Ogre is actually coming up next. But I will show you guys so the classes that they currently have in the pre-alpha is Warrior, uh, Monk, they have the Cleric, they have the Rogue, uh, they have the Wizard, you have Enchanter, the Shaman, the Paladin, and the Dire Lord. And if you don't know what a Dire Lord is, it's, it's some lore shit. But basically, think of Death Knights, but without being around Death, they have they go off around this thing called Dire. And it's like, it's like fucking the Wizard. Now, Wizard's, Wizard's actually really fun. I played a little bit of Wizard before the uh, character wipe. Wizard is fun. I'm not going to lie. Wizard in this game is very, very fun. It's very fun. And judging, judging by with the Pantheon Plus, uh, judging that, that you just said Wizard, uh, 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 Drac. It's Drac behind that, <laughs> behind that keyboard. <laughs> That's Drac. <laughs> <laughs> Drag, aren't you the one that always likes wizard? <laughs> it does not like druids at all. Yeah, by the way, the class that they're missing is druid, summoner, ranger. Uh, I do believe they're adding necromancer and also bard. So five more classes to add into the game. <laughs> he said caught. <laughs> he was like, fuck. <laughs> no, I'm messing with you. Now, you can also get your different uh, things that you have to go in through. Hi, everyone. Yo, it's Fire VR. Welcome to the fucking stream. I hope you guys definitely enjoy yourself. And again, Merry Christmas to those who are just coming in. Right now, we are playing the pre-alpha of Panther Rise of Fall. We're making a new character to show you guys kind of the new player, the new character experience. So you guys understand what, what to kind of really deal with. Now, Dexterity is going to be definitely big for uh, Monk right here. Especially Constitution. Increases Armor Crest and Car uh, Control Resistance and stuff like that. So you have, a little bit, you have two points to kind of go for. When you do start a new character, you can uh, max carry weight and stuff like that. But now, but these guys are all about a dodge chance and definitely all about the dexterity. Now, I would probably max out actually agility. The reason why is as early game as is dodging an ability and dodging it just a hit in general and to parry stuff is big for monks. Really, really big for monks. You could say dexterity. I could put a point into dexterity because you will actually have that more difficult crit. But I think actually going full agility for Monk would be the play. Mainly because when you go into agility for Monk, they're all... Again, it's a fucking Monk. What did, what did you expect? Now, as I already have my level 4 Cleric here. And so they haven't... Had, and they are, there will be character customization, again, pre-alpha. So let's get this started. Let's give you guys the new player experience. A new character experience that are coming in here. Instead of, me, instead of watching me just die on my Cleric constantly. Let's hop in the Monk. Let's do this shit. Let's get this shit started. My fiance is into the room. How you doing, baby? Oh, okay. Hold on one second. My my fiance wants me to poke holes in a potato chat. Ah. Poke holes in potatoes. Oh, poke holes in potatoes. What? Yeah, I just go all over when I poke my shit. Oh yeah, no, bake the fuck out of these. All right. Next one. As you see, my fiance, she's making a sweet potato pie right now. But right now, she needs help poking the holes in the sweet potatoes. So you gotta, like, stab it into there. Like, you gotta treat this shit like it's a fucking horror movie chat. Look at that. Oh. 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 Crack that one. I can't just see you on stream. Ow! <laughs> Are you okay, baby? I'm good. I'm good. I just stabbed my hand. It's all good. It's a little too crazy. No, no, no. I'm good. Just a little holes. <laughs> okay. All right. Have fun with the baking, baby. I will. Mm. Oh, I just have it down for now. Oh, okay. All right, love you, snuggle bunnies. Mm. I love you so much. I love that woman to death. Poking holes in potatoes is the second to only opening <laughs> the lids. I know, right? It's the next. It's the next shit. Oh, guys, look at the skybox. Look at the fucking skybox at night. Does this, the bro? Does this just make you want to like sit down at the campfire, fucking talk to your fucking squad? Yo, guys, talk about some, like, nice life stories and shit. I love the night. I love the the, the edge, the, like, the nebulous kind of galaxy. Because it's, like, the edge of the galaxy it's supposed to represent. I fucking love this shit. Thank you so much. It's Fire VR. Thank you so much for the follow. I hope you definitely are enjoying the stream. And, again, for this rest of the week, we will definitely do our best to kind of get some Pantheon content in here. But thank you, It's Fire. Welcome to the stream. Uh, before I go any further, guys... 
What class are you going to be playing in Pantheon Rise of the Fallen? That's my that's my fucking question to you guys. What's the thing? You, what's the class you're going to be playing in Pantheon Rise of the Fallen? Big question to you guys. Um, but yes, I love this Gnome Enchanter. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. I love the environment of this fucking game. And I'm going to shut the fuck up for a second because I'm going to turn up the sound for a second. And just kind of hear that ambient noise. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. I want to make sure you guys can actually, can actually hear that. Shaman uh, Archive Wizard? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. I'm telling you, this, this, shit, this shit gets a little bit crazy, chat. This shit gets a little bit crazy. I'm telling y'all. This... I love Pantheon's thing. I love this so fucking much. It's so good. And when it comes to Pantheon Rise of the Fallen, guys, I, I do say, like, the monk is probably the funnest class. Now, monks are usually hand-to-hand -hand combat kind of class. They're definitely a class that you, you do not... You, uh, Dark Mirror Summoner or Ash... Uh, what, Ashen Elf... Uh, oh, Ashen Elf fucking Druid? Oh, damn! We got the fuck it. We got, we got, yeah, we got a party up in this motherfucker. Shit. <laughs> oh my god, no, that's fucking lit. That's epic right there. Oh, we also get Wandering Fist too. I, I, I keep forgetting that we only start with like one ability when we start out. There we go. Yeah, no. So definitely, we also get a couple. We also get an ability called Wandering Fist that allows us to actually uh, do a little extra hit and also causes us to dodge while the process. They actually try to change the ability for since when it becomes. A new ability terminal. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, it, it works with your gates. That's right. So, monks kind of have these, like, kind of a gate ability. Uh, these uh, chi gates that can open up as you get, like, higher level. You can get, like, abilities to help open up certain gates. Uh, you get soul shuriken at level 2, chi spear, and everything like that. But you guys are not here to, like, look at abilities. You guys are here to watch me play the fucking game. So, that's what we're going to do. We're not, we're not going to waste you guys' time. We're just probably going to talk to these guys for a bit. Also, guys, if you guys want to request some music in chat, exclamation point SR and any link or song to uh, SoundCloud or YouTube will work. Spotify, I mean, it's just like that. But here we go. Shambling Skeleton, all right? He's yellow. I'm not going to fight him. <laughs> I was like, okay, let's, let's fight our first enemy. Okay, so let's get in here. You see, guys, it's dark as shit. It's dark as fuck in this game. And everything's yellow over here. I got to really be careful. Especially like the fire beetles, they, they will actually attack you. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Alright, here we go. Oh, they fixed monk animation. It used to be a lot where Yeah, so monk animation is done. Okay, sweet. I actually like this. Though, it's a little bit stiff per... Like, it, it definitely should have like more of a bounce to like each kind of like attack. To kind of like get that readiness kind of feel. Um, but yeah, no, definitely. Uh, definitely something that's needed. Definitely something that's needed with the, uh, with that. But besides that, like when it comes to the monk, yeah, they basically got that shit handled. Um, I'm trying to figure out what to kill. Okay, here we go. So right now with the whole first part of leveling when it, when it comes to this game, is quests do, uh, unlike, unlike Embers Adrift, quests do give you EXP in this game. And so, yeah, no, so definitely, um, oh yeah, Wandering Fist, what it does is that when you can, you can activate the second part of it, and Wandering Fist basically allows you to dodge, dodge the next enemy's attack. So, I love that so much about this. What's the command, what, what command do you use for music? Okay, oh, oh, I use, uh, uh, Nightbot, but it's, uh, exclamation point SR, here, I'll, I'll put that in, exclamation point SR, like, so, some request, SR, and let's just say, I want to say, um, um, uh, fuck it up. Uh, hold on. Let's see if it actually pops up. I'm actually curious. Uh, Derek's rainbow. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. They didn't get that. <laughs> I mean, they came up with this song. Fuck it. And it's up the music for you guys. Yeah, no. Um... Ooh, shit. Ooh. That's... Oh, 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 shit. Uh-oh. I was trying to take the skeleton. But you see, like, monks, they're definitely the damage class. They're definitely a damage a damage monk. You can off-tank as a monk, too. Oh, I blocked that? Oh, shit. 
I killed him. Holy shit, I got him. Now, I don't want to start fighting him yet. You, what you want to do is just rest, get your shit out first, and then start fighting. Um, so, yeah. So, burn it off? Fuck yeah. Thank you. Yes. Hell yeah. Yeah, League of Legends? Oh, that's fucking lit. Yeah, you guys can request some music in chat. Um, it will play for you guys and stuff like that. And you guys can have fun with that. But, yo, seriously, Dark Elf, Dark Mirror Summoner, Ashen L, Shaman, Archive Wizard, Gnome, Enchanter. Like, we're, we're talking about some really good shit here, guys. We're talking about some really, really good shit here. And, like, like seriously, when it comes to the classes in this game, it, it would be really fun. I think I think this game would definitely add to the, to the sense of, like, the funness of this game, you know? Now, guys, what are you guys' thoughts on Pantheon Rides of the Fallen? I actually want to know. Like, what do you guys feel about this game? Like, what, what do you guys have been hoping for in this game? Uh, what do you guys feel about, like, Pantheon? Like, how do, what, I'm going to get your guys' gauge on how you guys kind of feel about the game. Um, and, you know, like, just things you kind of want in this game. Uh, it's just your hopes and passions, I guess. I guess the best way to kind of sum it down. What do you guys feel like doing in this game? And you see with Monk, they also hit hard as shit. I, they actually, well, they buffed the melee for Monk. Monk never, I never remember Monk hitting this hard. I guess they buffed Monk, I guess, a little bit. Because Monk, yeah, Monk's, Monk's used to hit like three or four. Could we attack fast as shit. Yeah. I like it, but I'm biased. Hey, hey. We are all biased here. Fire, it's fire. We are all biased here. We're all here to talk about and love Pantheon Rise of the Fallen. So if you need to fanboy, fan girl, do fan in between, I don't care. Fan, if you want to fan fandom over this game, do it. And what? The, oh, he's lagging. Let me help you out with that. There we go. The rainbow. I like. I feel like monks. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like one thing with Pantheon Monks, I would say, this class is a badass class. And I I feel like this, this look, this, I feel like every, I, I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna put fucking money on it. That Monk, when this game, like, becomes, like, more, like, you know, out and stuff like that, and we get more footage, I think we're gonna see, like, Monk DPS videos, where it's, like, Monk epic damage. 500k DPS or some shit like that, and it's like, and it's like you get like you get like Lincoln Park music or something like that, or you get some like anime music, and you just see a monk like running in, and he's just like he just sees like something cons it. He's like, all right, I'm not gonna fight that. I'm not gonna fight that. I'm gonna con that. All right, I'm not gonna fight that. But he's gonna like see that right here, and then you just see you just hear anime music. And he's, he's you just see like bunkai, and then also he's like he's like he's like doing this <laughs> while he's like fighting the mob and stuff like that, make it as epic as possible. <laughs> I feel like, and then monks get some cool ass abilities going in for. They get like a, they, yeah, they get a, a hold down mechanic, so you could hold down the button and it charges up the fist. I think it's called like fire fist or something like that. And you like punch the shit out of them, and the more you hold it down, the more damage it does. It's so fucking cool. What's well, cool? If they did some unique uh, world thing, uh, I could def it definitely could be fun. Uh, is there a map? Nope. Nope. No map. No map. Nope. If they accomplish what VR is aiming for, uh, I will be happy camper. Love what I see so far. No, understandable. Understandable. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I say thinking like I developed the game. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, no, 100%. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, no, I, I actually agree with that. I think definitely if they can stick to their shit uh, and VR can definitely just kind of like handle it the way they've been handling it recently. I think I think honestly it would be it, it, I, I think right now with with the biggest the big wake up call of 247 uh and how like people like reacted to that and how much it like really gained the traction I think I think honestly I think honestly I I, I think they could definitely make a really good game with the, what they have now uh and what they can but I, as in sense of like what they have now and what they can use to push it forward um I'm actually going to try to fight this guy um yeah, no, so no map. Uh, I did a chanter on my, on, uh, I did, I, oh, Haley, Haley. I did a chanter on my two days. Uh, on my two days, it was really fun being an enchanter, uh, using fist to fight, uh, and just wanted to do my hand-to-hand -hand combat skill up. No, that's, that, I never thought about the enchanter fist to fist. All right. 
Ooh, dodge that heavy. Oh! Oh! Oh, I'm going. Oh! Oh, he fucked me up. I'm out. He fucked me up. That axe hit a little too hard, chat. All right. Again, learning lessons with annoying lava. Yo! Yo, see, is it Seamus, Mac, and uh, Ta 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 Seamus, Mac, and Sowie? I, I, I might be saying that wrong. But thank you so much for the 50 bits. You are a fucking G. Thank you so much, my guy. Thank you. Thank you. And everybody, welcome to the stream. Merry fucking Christmas, guys. We're doing this on a little Christmas Eve to get a little extra present from Panthea, uh, from VR. Fuck yeah. Fat rip, 100%. Ooh, this song goes hard, Jarek. Goddamn. <laughs> I also uh, looted a, a club at my uh, uh, as my fist weapon. Bonk Enchanter, fuck the world. <laughs> Dude, okay, look, hey, like, look, Enchanted do go hard, I, from what I've seen. I heard they are fucking powerful. How you been, my man? Merry fucking Christmas. Doing fucking great, G. Another day, another motherfucking dollar. Welcome, welcome to the fucking stream. Thank you so much for coming in, my guy. Wizard's song, burn it all down. That is true. That is true. You must burn it all down as a wizard. People keep, people keep underestimating wizards, man. Those motherfuckers can hit hard, okay? Especially with the, the recent stuff they're going to be doing with Wizards 2. If you guys don't know, Wizards are actually going to get a unique mechanic in Pantheon Rise of the Fallen compared to like World of Warcraft and everything like that. What they are going to be doing with Wizards, and I again, uh, Pantheon Plus, I could be wrong, but if you could correct me on this because you know Wizard more than anybody, uh, a lot of their like the fire spells are going to be based off of strength. They're, uh, they're, yeah, so their fire spells are gonna be based off of strength. Oh, shit, what? Oh, oh, shit. They, they, what? They attack with each other? I didn't know they were social. I never knew skeletons were social creatures. So, what it means to be the, I got jumped. I got social, yes. Oh my god! They fucked me up, chat! Oh my- Oh, oh of course! <laughs> Call an ambulance! Call an ambulance! But not for me! Literally that! Literally that! Oh, Can someone clip that? <laughs> I just got fucking jumped. I was like, oh, no, I got this guy. No! I think it was this one right here. Where's the shambling? That fucker, dude, Beatles social with big game. Oh, no, 100%. Guys, if you do play Pantheon, these Beatles will social your ass. The Beatles will fuck you up. They, There is no question about it. They will fuck you up. No questions asked. I got some gloves. Nice. Yeah, so the whole early game of this is just, it's just killing shit, chat. No questions asked. Just killing shit. Uh, you just get some quests that you can do. I can grab some quests for so far, but right now I think it'd be best to actually just level up and just show you guys gameplay. Oh, that's a lot of damage. And yes, the fuck it was. Domithir, welcome to the fucking stream. Yeah, that was a lot of fucking damage. Oh my god, he's playing it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, hey, 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 okay, okay, there is rainbow, ball rainbow, I fucking love that song, <laughs> if you guys don't know who Theric is, you, uh, you, if you are here, you already know who Theric is, <laughs> you've probably heard that song thousands of times, it's such a good song, oh my god, oh, 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 I, see, I almost pulled him, not knowing that these guys were social. Yo, Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. C, welcome to the stream. You don't want to know what these Beatles are uh, posting in their social. Oh, yo. They're posting like, they, 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 they'll whoop your ass and then fucking post be like, yo, what's up, guys? Yeah, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like killing some adventurers. <laughs> Nothing new. Feeling pretty today. My bite a guy. You never know. <laughs> Motherfuckers got that Snapchat. Yeah, I, I, uh, how, it, it do be an annoying llama. Too tired to care. Welcome to the fucking stream. Oh my god. 
Thank you so much for the motherfucking follow, guys. Seriously, thank you, thank you so much. Welcome to the fucking stream. Oh my god, thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> thank you so much. I don't want to. I want to. I don't want to fight that guy. He's gonna social this shit out of me. Um, I don't think rats are social. I don't want to fight him because he's yellow con. That's one of the biggest things with early game. You really have to con. And you guys don't know what conning is. Uh, it's basically what you, you... I have it set to my mouse for. But basically what a conning what is, basically, is you're seeing the level of the enemy. Cause, oh! So someone just buffed me and I just leveled up. Yo, Vendini, I see your ass! Hold up! Yo, yo, let's up, Bro, what the fuck? Oh, what are you gonna do? Wait, wait, are you giving me something? Well, before I do that, let me give you some shields. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me hook you up, let me hook you up. Let me hook you up. Yo, fuck yeah, enjoying your uh, just enjoying your time in Pantheon, I see. Oh, pfft. yeah, oh yeah. Yo, Vizini, let's group, let's group. Let's get this shit. This is, this is what I'm talking about. Group fucking content, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you got it, you got a spear. All right, so now we got Vandini. Now, Vandini is playing a shaman. They are fucking OP as shit. Rats have nasty bleed. Oh, my God, yeah. No, they have a fucking nasty ass bleed. And, yes, time too tired to care. Yes, I am enjoying my time in Pantheon. Rats are falling right now. Um, let's kill some shit. Let's start killing some shit. There we go. Yeah, no, I know. I, uh, what class are you guys... Oh, by the way, for those who are just joining in, what class are you guys... Playing in Pantheon Rise of the Fallen. Yeah, but the shamans are definitely a buff class. Attack Mr. Connoisseur. <laughs> uh do you re um did you recently uh up your sub or uh were uh wait did you recently up your sub or were you a PA tester for a while? For a while. The first thing I went to was I say I, I make sure my taxes came in first and then I, I started uh I did the seven hundred fifty right off the bat. 100%. No, I, I knew what the fuck I was going to do. I said, no, nah, I'm a pre-alpha test this motherfucking game. Now, nah, did you recently up your sub? And you did, I don't think I've seen your name around. Oh, no, 100%. I, I, I can understand where you come from. But then you can take that one. Oh, thank you. That's all you, my brother. I'm going to share the loot. Share the loot. So this is what grouping, grouping in Pantheon is actually really important, guys. Because you see now how, like, I'm just trying to go from con to con, trying to figure out this stuff. When you get to group content, you can handle, like, yellow cons. Just make sure you have a really good healer. Make sure you're a good ass tank, and then you're set. And what makes oh, what makes these guys so good? Oh, is it like that level six right there? Is that a shaman? Hey yo, welcome to PA Testers Group. No, 100 fucking percent, my G. Um, uh, I don't really talk much in the Discord too. Like, I try not to. Like, I, 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 I'm, I, I'm so busy with everything else. I tend, I tend to not like trying to talk within the groups, uh, as much as I should. But yeah, no, I, I definitely, I love this. I've been, I've been around for, I think, since 2022? Yeah, 2022. It's the last year. So it's been over a year now. Almost two years now. Fucking shit, chat. I want to make content around Pantheon Rise of the Fallen already. And now that I upgraded my SSD for my PC, oh, like, to a four terabyte, oh, uh, you can take that. You can take that, Axe. Yeah, thank you so much, Vendini. Bro, uh, bro, the proxy pulling from amongst our so good. Oh, speaking of which, chat, uh, yeah, we're gonna get our next ability too, guys. Uh, monks get soul shuriken, and that ability, I, I played monk when I first came in to pre-alpha, so this is before everything. I, we got to like the level ten, I think, before there are probably like monthly, before like when we had, it was like just a monthly kind of thing. Uh, the highest I've ever got with monk was like level ten, and those fuckers can clap. Cheeks, I'm telling you. Here, let me go grab Soul Shuriken, Sh 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 Vendini. We'll, we'll kill some stuff on the way there, though. Like some this dude right here. Yeah, no. Uh, do you think... Oh, shit! Yo, Diamond Gage with a 12 raid! Oh, my God. Chat, chat, chat. Diamond Games, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for the 12 raid for Pantheon Rise of the Fallen. Do you think monks uh, are able to solo tank uh, content if they are? Uh, 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 yeah, one hundred percent. If they, if if, if uh, VR can aim to make them counter attack, parry tanks. If they can go into that playstyle, they will be the best fucking parry tanks in the game. Shit, you not. VR, if you're listening to me, fucking make monks parry counter attack tanks. 
If you do not, I will be pissed. <laughs> in a sense of, I will be grumpy, and I will throw a fucking fit for two seconds, and then I will keep playing Monk, and keep playing Panther Rise of the Fallen. Uh, they've been watching a war, of uh, they've been watching a war for a bit, uh, need a, a different kind of gameplay now. That's understandable. Yeah, I just started a new Monk. I have usually play a Cleric, uh, stuff like that. You've got a raid, pull the ukulele out. Yes, that's true. Now, chat, bear with me for a second. I have to do this. Uh, let me, let me get back to the main city real quick. Uh, Vendini, you're gonna, you're gonna hold off for a second. Now, chat, every time someone raids my channel, I freestyle them a song. Now, let me pause the music real quick. Give me, give me a second. We're gonna take a pause for a second. I love music. And I love music so much that I like playing it. So, we're gonna play you guys a little song. And this song is for Diamond Games. For those who are just coming to the stream, welcome to the stream. If you have not followed Diamond Games, guys, Give a big shout to Diamond Games for the fucking raid. Thank you so much for the fucking, like, again, the raid. I hope your stream was amazing. How was it? Uh, let's do a shout out to Diamond. Oh, no, whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Hold on there. Hold on there. Hold on there. It does it sometimes. Hold up. Hold up. There we go. There we go. Now Diamond Games. There we go. Ooh. Is that Star Wars Galaxies? playing Star Wars Galaxies. Are you fucking kidding me? Game's awesome. I've never played Star Wars Galaxies, but I know what it looks like. Holy shit. All right. So. Okay, this sounds good. Okay. Can't say uh, I've had a song made for me. Can't say I've had a song made for me. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to freestyle a little song for you. So, so if you guys just uh, let's get a little basic melody. hear them high notes on me oh <laughs> domather has been in the stream guys wait hold up there we go that's what i want yeah this is for you guys merry christmas eve yo vic thank you so much vicky vic the great is it is it is it vic vic Ick, the uh the great welcome to the stream yeah this song is for diamond games thank you so much for the rain Yeah. Diamond games, thank you for the fucking rain. I'ma take this. Life is so good, you probably deserve a kiss. But every time my feelings arrive, and I just do a nice shit, and I'm a feeling alright, but I know. I know it's great, and every time I get it, I'ma have to always say thank you for the follow, and I always love you every single day. So if you play Pantheon, it's such a fun little game that we're playing here. Got the community coming in with living stairs. But I will tell you I I'ma play a fucking monk. Pulling shit from across the map because I am a fucking punching little boy. And every time I'll do it, cause you know I get a store. But Diamond Games say he's playing warrior, so he's gonna be my fucking backup tank. So this song's gonna be called now Backup Tank. Cause he's my backup tank. Yeah, he's gonna pull all these things, gonna do all these things, he's my backup tank. Yeah, he's gonna love on my lanes, gonna love on my alts all day, my tank. And he's gonna run this shit, and I'll probably off tank for him because he's gonna be with my monk. Or maybe my cleric. So I'll tell you this, he's my backup tank. He's a very fucking cool, and you know I get his dude. What are you playing in Pantheon? I'm playing a monk. Yeah, doing monk and dire lore when they let us alpha Libyans and, <laughs> and there we go. Yeah, diamond is my backup tank. Yeah, you want to hear those high notes down right there? <clears throat> Y'all ready for this chat?
Yeah, he's my backup tank. Yeah, he's my backup tank. Taking all the damage, running my grooves, and he's gonna need a healer to keep him up too. Yeah, Diamond Games, Diamond Games. He's my backup tank, and he's never gonna leave this guild until he quits and never quits this game. Yeah, thank you so much, Diamond Games, for the fucking follow. Thank you so much for the fucking raid. I hope you guys definitely enjoy yourselves in here. Now let's get back into more Pantheon Rise of the Fallen content, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this shit going like we've always been doing, guys. Doing what we do best. Dom right there, thank you so much for the recommendation. And Vendini, thank you so much for waiting on my dumb ass. Uh, <laughs> this is certainly the first. I'm glad. I hope you definitely enjoy yourself. Uh, definitely, yeah, no, fucking, that was not my best opera, by the way, I, I could definitely hit that shit a little bit harder, <laughs> uh, did I not just buy that, oh, I don't have enough money, it says, not just now, haha, -ha. I can sell shit, oh, wait, fuck, oh, oh, I just sold the fist weapons, oh, I can't even buy that back, can I, oh, I'm a dumbass chat, oh, you, uh, you, uh, un, untread, uh, untread, son? Untread, untread, son? Thank you so much for the fucking... Well, welcome to the fucking stream, guys. Yeah, oh my god. I just sold my fucking weapons on accident. I am so sorry. Vin Didi worked so hard to get those for me, too. Alright, let's grab Soul Shuriken. That, that will at least make up for it, hopefully. Oh, I'm so sorry, Vin Didi. Oh my god. I, I was trying, I was actually trying... I was trying to equip them mentally. Alright, uh, if you guys don't know what Soul Shuriken does, this ability is the core fucking thing when it comes to uh, Monk. And you can also have mastery points, you guys have been in it, which I will do that. Uh, mastery points are also one of the things that help increase your abilities uh, as a whole. Uh, and they are very, very, very important going forward uh, when it comes to Pantheon Rise of the Fallen. Is how you kind of really kind of make your builds within the game. So it's not, it's like, think of it like talent points, but it's talent points for a specific ability. So you don't have to go like a whole tree of shit. You just kind of go in there, put your mastery points in and go from there. You get it from also, mastery points are also gained from killing shit constantly. So if you grind out mobs, you can get mastery points. Rank 2 life tab, beast mastery, uh, mm -hmm, mm, HP. Oh, that's going to be fucking insane, dude. It's going to be fucking insane. Well, I know that there's, there's, there's the great Vendini, and then there's a lot of the greats in chat, which that's good. Oh, we have a level two in here. Let's see if he wants to. Let's see if he wants to join us. Hey, fuck yeah, hell yeah. Yo, yo, yo. Let's grind this out. There we go. Yeah. So everybody, welcome, welcome to the stream. Yes, right now we actually we're playing some Pantheon Rise of the Fallen. So what? So oh. Well, what we're supposed to do is shoot out. And you also level up chi manipulation through this. Now, look at this. I'm all the way over here. These guys are meant to be pullers. So you see it like shoots out a giant ass shuriken. Yo, that group content though. I know, right? And you see how fast we're like killing this shit, right? This is kind of like what the group content is. And what the game, what this game doesn't really tell you is that you don't get it punished. Like most games you get into groups, it splits the EXP. And stuff like that. Um, yeah, the whole point of this game is to... And once you get into higher level groups, Dire Lord is actually a tank too. Uh, Dire Lords are really, really good tanks. Which I love that. And so you see how I almost died just for that one fucking hit? Yeah, this is why tanks are really important. Like, uh, like Diamond. Diamond's playing a warrior. He's a tank. And as a tank, you are supposed to take the damage. Monks are supposed to be the pullers. Wiki is supposed to be the guy to fucking take it off from us and kind of just kind of go from there. And what Sir Shuriken does, it also it does a decent amount of damage. So you then, you can actually really pull them in and get some really good shit out of it. My mug went, uh, went splat if a tank did not take the aggro. Yeah, 100%. And that's why I think it's really important to level up agility inside within Monk. Because you're going to be dealing with a lot of things where tanks sometimes cannot pull certain things. Tanks cannot pull sometimes it really fast, or sometimes the mob just maybe the, the, the top might miss or something like that. And these are really important to understand how important it is to have a tank within a group. Oh, 
Look at that. Look at that shit. Do monks take more damage uh, the more weight they carry, like an EQ? That I actually do not know. I actually do not know that answer. And I, I, I hope that's not the case, maybe. Uh, and if that is the case, it would be smart to go strength monk then. If that's if, if that will be the case for monks, like just like an EQ, um, then it will be best to actually go a strength monk because remember, strength increases the weight capacity that you have. Yeah, no word on that yet. Okay, yeah. Don't think they will. They don't think they do. Yeah. So and that and that's really that's a really good fucking question to ask. By the way, it's a very good question to ask because the, the yeah there there's a lot of features that they have not at, entered in to the game. So yeah, it could be a feature that's. Uh, I think they talked about it uh, that once before. Yeah. And again, it could it could happen. One hundred percent, it could happen. This this could be like a thing. Like hey, yeah. By the way, with monks, we want to make sure to make them intuitive. So that would be a really cool way to do that. I'm glad he has the mantle of mist on me ahead of time. That was such a smarter decision. Good job, Adini. No coin. Uh, yeah, no coin weight. Yep, yep. That's another thing, guys. There will be no coin weight into the game. In the game. And yeah, so they. And you see how like now we're like handling like yellow cons and stuff like that. This is really important when it comes to group content within Pantheon Rise of the Fallen. This game is not supposed to be easy. It's not supposed to hold your hand. This game is a game where you're supposed to play as a group, play as a team, talk about certain things. Now, chat, hear me out when I say this. Imagine if Pantheon Rise of the Pro uh, Fallen had proximity chat. Just think about that. Just think about that for like two seconds. Imagine if they had proximity chat in Pantheon Rise of the Fallen. The possibilities are endless. All right. I'm just going to say that now. The possibilities are fucking endless. But you see, uh, we're leveling up pretty fast now. The reason why group content is such a great thing, like voice chat, yeah, voice chat, proximity chat. As in, as say we're not in a group or something like that, and I like hold down like alt or control or something like that, I can use my microphone and it, everybody around me can hear. Now, it wouldn't affect like mobs or anything. It would just be like player, just player driven kind of thing. So that's like, hey, 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 yo, my guy, you want to join a group? You want to join a group? And it's like, yeah, sure. Fuck it. Let's go. They also did say they won't add voice chat. Uh, also, did they, did they say they're not? Uh, they, no, no, no. They didn't say that. They did not say. I, I'm just cracking up an idea here. That'd be really nice. Such a nice new world. I know, right? I think that'd be cool as shit. See how, see how fast we're killing shit, guys? And this is really important in, in uh, beginning games. They uh, they haven't said it either on, on any way. Yeah, 100%. Oh, shit. I pulled, a, I pulled a big mob. Good job, Vendini. Oh, oh, fuck. That bleed hits. There we go. How long has uh, how long have you been VP? Don't think I've uh, seen I've seen your name in uh, Discord chat. Oh yeah, I've been a VP for a year now. Yeah, yeah, it's been. Uh, it was right after I got my taxes. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna use my taxes for being at the end of the phone. <laughs> and so yeah, so I I definitely went straight into it though. Big dicked into uh, Pantheon Rise of the Fallen. You see, you see the you see the you see the pulling capabilities of monk guys. This is why I fucking this is why I'm gonna be maining monk when I I uh, get into Pantheon Rise of the Fallen. Oh my God! What they social too? No! <laughs> why does everything social in this game? <laughs> oh my God! I'm lucky I'm in a fucking group because I would have fucking died. I'm gonna have my ass whooped. Oh my God! Yeah, especially open mic vocal local VC. Dude, that would be so funny, dude. The arguments people would start for no fucking reason. Oh my god, that shit would be funny as hell. That would genuinely be the funniest shit. Like, you could just see... Imagine someone just dying, like, just running away. Like, ah! And all of a sudden, they just mic disappears because they went out of range. <laughs> 
Oh my god, dude. So you have you have previous PV, uh, uh, PA sessions. Yes, 100%. I played uh, when they were still doing the monthly. This is way before 247 and everything. Uh, they were still doing the monthly stuff. They just I'm, that was here. I was here before they added crafting into the game. You know, I, I was here. I was here. Ooh, consecutive strikes. Okay, sweet. We got a new ability now. So we got a new ability called consecutive strikes, which is funny because consecutive strikes never actually used to be uh early, this early in the game. So that's actually pretty good. We got a new ability, chat. And if I'm correct, uh, Joppa enjoyed making this one too. Oh, not this ability, but like the uh, so deal sixty percent weapons and disorient target. <gasps> Wait, what? We get it that early? This ability used to be a fucking um, uh, used to be uh, like a really early ability. I mean, a little, a little bit a later ability. Wow. That, we got it that early. Oh, I didn't even see that change. So consecutive strike basically it disorients the target. And so here's the thing there. Here's the thing I really love about monks. A lot of their toolkit is definitely uh is definitely really good for like setting up stuff. And now people are like, well, what are uh, what are monks like purpose into uh into Pantheon Rise of the Fallen? And let me let me explain this. This ability allows to, uh, it puts disorients on, on a target, right? Well, here's the thing. Disorient allows, uh, let's say warriors use an ability. I think warriors get an ability that if a target is disoriented or something like that, they get like bonus hit or something like that. Or if, a, let's say a caster class, if the target is stunned, then they do bonus damage or something like that. Well, what happens as what happens if the caster class doesn't have options to a stun? Well, that's where Monk comes in. See the thing with monk is that they're not they don't they don't they don't have to mez targets or something like that. They don't have to do anything crazy. They set up classes, abilities to hit fucking hard. Um and one of the first ones they one of the well, you used to get this at level 10 and actually around that level 10 mark. But consecutive strikes now uh disorients the target, so it actually stuns them. So it steals 60% weapons and exploits a uh, disoriented uh, state. To stun them for two seconds. Now, this isn't disoriented target. It's if they're disoriented, then they, you do an extra stun. But I do believe later on, an ability, I get an ability to actually disorient a target, which is fucking phenomenal. And stuff like that. So, I think that's that's huge. That's fucking huge that I got an ability like that. That is so fucking huge that I just got that. Holy shit. Dude, look at oh oh fuck! I got pulled. Fuck. He got fucked up. <laughs> so frog can pull you in, chat. That's one of the mechanics for frogs. Is that look, look? If I if I target him. Okay, usually they would do a pull in, but that talk that, that frog was supposed to do a pull in, like like this one right here, or I'll do it this one. Yeah, right here. He pulls me in, and then he basically starts attacking me. I find that funny as shit, though. But yeah, this is basically the group content. You're kind of grinding out stuff. Make sure everything looks good. Leveling up. And it's the best way to level up in this game. To have a group... Like, see, we have a tank, DPS, and healer. Just having this already makes everything 10 times easier. And yeah, that's good that I got consecutive strikes. That's so fucking good. Now, is there a mastery for it? There is not a mastery for it yet. But like I said, for this one, reduce the chi and increase the projectile speed in range by five five meters. To level up search soul shuriken means you're just group centric. Past that point, you are you are a puller, and that's what that and I think that's what makes soul shuriken so such a great ability. It's it you can you can do it five and it already does twenty six meters, so thirty one meters when you when you max out the mastery for that, that is fucking huge. Look at this, and I'm already already I'm able to take out yellow cons like nothing, and I don't even have a fucking weapon equipped. This is insane. Do you see the damage I'm fucking doing as a monk? Oh my god! Two fucking yellow cons at that. There we go. Yeah, I know, chat. So, guys, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, 
definitely ask away. I would love to get some questions in here. I feel like I, 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 I as a streamer, I'm, you know, I'm supposed to talk a lot. Oh shit, I forgot they're social too. Okay, the bees. Okay, makes sense. I mean, by by lore and by by actual lore in real life, bees are naturally social creatures. So yeah. Very good, very good early EXP by the way. God damn. We're just constantly killing shit at this point. Ow. But yeah, no, yeah, it's no, so, so yeah, yeah, I'm gonna say this. When it comes to Pantheon Rise and Fall, it's monk kind of gameplay. Definitely is, uh, definitely is something that you grind out some stuff. You can also do quests too. Quests give a decent amount of EXP also, depending on which quest that you do. So yeah, it's very good for you guys. And also, if you guys haven't left the follow yet to me or Pantheon Plus, definitely leave a fucking follow. Seriously. Yeah, I know. So, uh, so have you been a PS uh, for oh, since then? Uh, make sure I didn't miss anything. I turn off every game voice chats. I really don't like random screaming at all the time. I actually agree with that. Going back to the voice chat conversation, yes, I actually much agree with that. Uh, I and I and of course, if they were to ask them like game, yeah, definitely have the option to turn it off because you just don't. Yeah, you don't you don't want to hear random people screaming. But I think it would be great just to just have that funny feature in here. Of course, to add something like that into the game and to make sure it actually works, that is very important to kind of see if you can have that in there. But uh, one hundred percent. 100% it is that is that is, I think that's great uh, But when regarding to monk though, I do like monk because if you guys see later on in the gameplay um, From what I've tested previous because I know they changed a couple of things. I'm assuming now now seeing this they definitely changed a couple of things um, They uh, when it comes to monks, they are definitely a fast hitting fat hitting fucking class they can use bow staffs also, and bow staffs are really good because they, they play into more of a tank monk kind of play style where you hit hard, you hit slower, but you hit harder, and you also can clap cheeks, so. That guy's level 7, holy shit. Oh, hold on, I just had caps. We should move to, to deer and bandits. We should move to the year and bandits. There we go. So the reason why I also made the suggestion that we move to the deer and bandits because these guys are starting to get a little bit lower level than us. Um, besides that guy right here. With monk, you have to really play it like a like a. You really have to play it like a like a fast hitting DPS. I think the best way to describe monk is it also in Pantheon Red Spot. It treats like an EQ version of like Wow's. Monk class. You're fast hitting. You're gonna be agile and shit like that. You're gonna be dodging a lot. I have never played an EQ monk per se, or like I have actually take that back. I played retail EQ for a little bit uh, with a guy um, before he just kind of like disappeared, which understandable because I we haven't talked in a bit. But uh, the EQ, the the early EQ monks are just auto attack. Uh, you're basically just auto attacking, but you just work on your auto attack. All right, let's not pull that shadowy thug, but. There we go. Yeah, this is basically early monks, basically. Now you see, oh shit, oh shit. So you see using this is really good. Cause I can just dodge your ability. Oh my God, I'm about to die. I need backup. I need backup. I need backup. There we go. Yeah, monk's DPS is insane. Oh, oh, back up, back up, back up, back up. So let, I'm gonna get, let me get aggro for a bit. So this is really important with monks. The biggest problem with monks, they pull aggro fast. They can pull fucking massive aggro. Let's pull a rope. Okay, sweet. They can pull massive aggro and that's like the biggest thing I would say about monk that does Change up. It's kind of gameplay is that they have high damage and that's great But at the cost of they also do a lot of uh, threat They they you 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 will you will take a threat off the tank a lot 
Okay, good. I got some uh, food. I'm gonna see if it's uh, I'm assuming it's resistance food, right? Yeah. Does Tank have food on him. There we go. I'm gonna give him the tank because he's gonna need it more than all of us. E even though it's cold resistance, like it's still good for the tank to have that, so he can recover a little bit faster. There we go. All right. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull this guy. And this is also really good. Like, see, see how like we can pull off of mobs instead of, instead of running in there because they mobs have huge aggro radius. So as for monk, you see, like right here, I'm kind of showing it off right here. When it comes to the when it comes to the gameplay, uh, and dealing with these guys. Okay, I'm gonna take the bandages because I'm gonna need that. And see, how he's walking away right there. So what I could do is just now go in, pull him, with hopefully not pulling anybody else. And there we go. And that's Monk in its nutshell. They are meant to be pullers. They are not meant to be anything else, but they pull shit. Look at that. Oh, 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 that's a hand. Oh, there's, a, there's a hand for apps. Hell yeah. Okay, got some weapons chat. Okay, I got a weapon chat. So now, as you see right now, I'm about to level up my next mastery for Chi, which now reduces the cost of it by 100. And so that would actually help me out in the long run when it comes to doing a lot of G abilities. Hell yeah. And by the way, guys, don't forget to request the music in chat. Exclamation point SR. Uh, you can request any um, any song from SoundCloud or YouTube. Now, this one's going to be a little tricky one because we got the thugs over here, right? And so it would be better actually for me to pull the thugs over here. But the problem is that shadowy thug might be the biggest problem. So, as a monk, you have to really evaluate how you're going to do this because... Uh, I have to dip in about 10 minutes. Oh, no, definitely. Oh, oh, definitely. Understandable. So let's try to pull these guys then off to the side a little bit like over here. It's how you pull them too. So you see they have the shadowy thugs not on them. Oh, Vin, uh, Vin, uh, Vindy's always dipping. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, bro. It's tough out here in these streets. You got that Christmas spirit, you know? Ooh, nice. Cloth helm. I'm cool with that. And then, so what we're going to do is definitely... In, oh, you hear the sound effects, chat? I love the weather effects in this game. They did a really fucking good job with the weather effects. Okay. I'm actually going to go to the other side right here. I'm going to go to the other side right, actually, right here. Oh, who put the Pantheon song? Nice! You want to, as a puller, as a puller, as a monk, you have to survey the area. Uh, tanks have to do that too. And that's understandable. And I'm not, I'm not just saying only monks have to do that. When it comes to pulling in general, you have to really be careful who you're pulling, how you're pulling them. And where this is going to go. And as you see, my, my defense is going up, too. I can also get some defense abilities for my for thing if I was definitely playing into the more tank kind of play style. Now, there's shadowy thugs all over here. Now, there's three of them. Oh, you got a fox. Yo, what's up, baby? Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah I can do that. Yeah, no problem. Love you, baby. All right, let's pull the thug right over here. They're like squeezed in between there. Right. There you go. Okay, here we go. So yeah, and also when you pull higher, uh, when you pull higher uh, uh, cons, it actually does like a different sound effect too. That's what I love about this game. You kind of know when you fucked up when you start hearing the you start hearing the boss music uh, for Pantheon kick in. And it's it's so uh duty duty uh what was it duty dupe dipping yeah here I'm gonna let someone take that one that's a rusted hammer in there I think we could pull the shadowy thug this way oh this is a good pull oh oh fuck yeah I fucked up. Yeah, I'm dead. Fuck, my bad. Yeah, 
Yeah, that was my fault. That was all my fault. I thought I could get them, but I didn't realize the third one was actually gonna it was close enough to pull all three. My bad, yeah. <laughs> and that's the one thing that's the one thing you, you're always gonna you, and that's it's just a learning experience and that's the one thing and, and don't uh, like don't ever feel like afraid to like not pull a chat because you're gonna fuck up everyone's gonna fuck up i fuck up all the time but it's it's learning how to pull and stuff like that no problem but time for me uh, time for me to break yeah 100 percent. oh 100 all right I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna be right back, chat. I gotta help my fiance out. Just like, just get some potatoes out of the way. It will not take long. I will be right back. Um, I'm gonna sell some shit ahead of time. There we go. Those are reagents and stuff like that. I can use that for like crafting stuff for potions. But I'll let someone else handle that. Um, I expect everyone to play this to be a master one day. Oh, 100 percent. And that's the thing with Pantheon Rise of the Fall. You just you just gotta keep playing it. Play it like a thing. Um. And just, it just kind of really gonna feel the game and how it is when it comes to your crafting, when it comes to everything. But we'll, like I said, we'll be right back, chat. We'll see you guys soon. And then after that, yeah. So we'll, like, it won't even take long. I, I literally would be like two minutes. So talk amongst yourselves. I actually have a big, I have a, I have a, I have a really good que uh, question for you guys, chat. Talk amongst yourself with this one. Why do you think your class is better than every other class? I'm gonna leave it off at that. I'll be right back. Yo, Vendini, thank you so much for the fucking group, my guy. Seriously, thank you, thank you. We are back. Sorry about that. I had my fiance uh, see if the potatoes were tender enough. Um, but in an hour, I will help her out and just peel it. Wouldn't take that long either. Mmm. Mm. Mm, hell yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Got him. Mmm. That shit was so good. Mm, I, got, I also got my new drink too. So Gatorade Electrolyte. So that should help us out with the stream. Now. When it comes to. Um, 
yeah, when it comes to Pantheon's monks, it's definitely, I think, I think the best. I'm going to say this now. You know, you can level up Leatherworking. You know, you can level up, um... Oh, God. Oh. Mm. Hold up. One second. Mm. Sorry, my tooth. It's really sensitive to cold. So it's like, okay. Okay, yep. Yeah. Okay. Back to what I was saying, guys. And uh, again, shout out to Great Vendini, guys. The dude's a fucking legend. Thank you so much for helping me out. I think monks would be really good with jewel crafting. The reason why I say this is that you get ring slots and stuff like that, and earrings and necklaces and stuff like that, and two ring slots. I think it would be great. Mm, ah, if you had to choose like one profession, it would either be outfitter or um, or uh, getting into uh, that. So I would like to show off some of the professions while we're leveling too. So you see, we got the jewel crafting and stuff like that. You can make like your, your stuff right here, your gemstones and everything like that. Those are really important to have. Very important things to have. I should get it. Oh, I sorry, let's go to the scavenger. And now when you make your jewel crafting stuff, you can make them right here actually too. So you now understand, you know, where to kind of go for that. How many versions can you specialize in? So for now, for the pre-alpha, you can do as many as you want. You could do basically all of them. Now, for to, for when it comes to live or like later on to the game, I think he said you could only have like one main profession. I do believe so. I might be wrong on that, so please do not take my fucking word on that one. But I'm doing it to the best of my ability. Um. So yeah, so so this is kind of how the quests work and stuff like that. You kind of do that. You talk to them. You got to use a nice little reputation system with them. Everything down to how much you sell with them. Everything, everything down to like how much you actually like work with them. The more quests you do with the particular uh, person, they can do that. So I can see I'm getting all these fucking quests. Not the heavy lifting one because that's that's gonna be. Why you know I can grab the heavy lifting one? So these are really good. And then here's the best part. Here's the one thing I love. Here's what I'm talking about. I love about the professional system going to be going here. You get so you get like schematics and stuff like that, but you also get your own basic slots for your crafting. So now you can get your axes, you get your pickaxes and shit like that. You get your hammers, your tools and everything like that. It tells you all your professions, but also you get things like schematics and stuff like that. You know, like, like every game has schematic, like a schematic system and stuff like that in here. So right now, so you see the burlap bandages packet thing right there. I can just put that in here. And now this will be part of my professions now. So I don't have to carry them in my bags. You get a little separate satchel that has all these slots for all these recipes you can learn. So let's say you can go and say you get max level. You start filling up some bag space and stuff like that. You could also probably put, they're probably going to make like bags where you can put them in here. So you, now you get extra slots to go in here. And I think that's fucking phenomenal. Oh, is he giving everybody buffs? Oh, thank you. Oh, shit. Hold up. Thank you. I actually needed these buffs too, so I can start soloing shit. So you also have these a lot of these quests. Now I have one that's called heavy lifting, and because I'm a monk, I already have like light shit on me. The heavy lifting quest, the heavy lifting quest doesn't really affect me too much. But it was the whole point of the quest is to slow you down. You have to find the person to drop it off to. You know, kind of says, and the first dude's like right over here, which is really nice. But yeah, no. Uh, when it comes to professions, I think I, I, yeah, I do believe it's just you can have one or two professions you can hold. Kind of like a World of Warcraft or any other game you kind of have, you have, you, um, you know, you figure out shit, you know? Now, what, now, I, I, I the reason why I'm going to fo focus on jewel crafting for this character is because I think it is important to understand why you, you would go into jewel crafting is that rings, necklaces and shit like that are going to be rare, kind of like, kind of to find in general in any game that you go into, you know, mostly like trinkets and shit like that are going to be the hardest things to kind of really find so you want to go into a profession that actually specializes into doing that now to get put stats onto gear you get things like you get a rare uh uh, re uh resource called so like some it's called dust so you get like celestium dust and everything like that and when you add them to your gear that when you craft them you can essentially add stats to your gear and i think that's fucking phenomenal 
scavenger hunt it gives you a whole bunch of quests you know do this do that and blah 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 but i think it's really good like i think it's a really good way to introduce people into it um just just kind of getting this shit done you know like you know learning blacksmithing he teaches you how to learn how to blacksmith so so right here i'm gonna learn this and so, you know i'm gonna learn how to blacksmith a little bit you know and so now it teaches you like weapon smithing and stuff like that and i think this is really cool uh just to kind of have into the game in general because what it allows people to do is to collect you know what they what professions they want to do and stuff like that and to really if you really want to invest into it you can actually invest into doing professions and stuff like that into pan in pantheon rest of the fallen but to the point where you can have like a your guildy that's like a, who likes to craft all the time where you can just go around the world start crafting sh getting materials and just start crafting shit or i think they should have a killed bank into the system so then Someone who's just a main crafter of the guild, who likes to craft all the damn time, can just go in and just uh, and just craft shit. You do also have a bank too, so there is not, don't don't be scared with that one. You do also have a bank, um, so that is good. That a bank is very important in the game. Uh, but yeah, no, I I think this game is is definitely on a good track. I think Pantheon Rise of the Fallen is definitely on a great track here. Um, Again, I, I would recommend it to anybody. And uh, and again, even in its pre-alpha state, the, the sound design is fucking amazing. Oh, here we go. Introduce a weapon master. Fuck, yeah. Getting your hands dirty. I'm assuming this one... This one's getting your hands dirty. Killing, uh, get a killing blow on two Gadai recruits with cloth uh, punching wraps. And if I'm correct, I already have one and some on. Oh, well, cloth punching wraps. That's right. He wants these ones. But it's basically the same thing for me. Free weapons for me. So, yeah. Yo, yo, yo. Jay Slayer, welcome to the fucking stream. Right now, we're showing off Pantheon Rise of the Fallen pre-alpha. Uh, and this game, yeah. I, I got the quest. Uh, uh, I got it as a warrior. Yep. So, yeah. So, some, I think there might be, like, diverse quests. But this is, like, kind of the only one for now. For some reason, he's not giving me the quest or the artifice. Oh, there we go. Learn jewel crafting. Here we go. There we go. So you had to talk to the other guy to learn the professions first. So now I can learn how to craft copper and stuff like that as a jewel crafter, which I think is fucking amazing. And look at craft, learn how to craft uh, ingots and stuff like that. Oh, shit. Yo, the Phantom. Thank you so much for the fucking raid, my guy. Uh, fucking the second raid of the day. Fucking shit, yes. Thank you. Welcome, welcome to the fucking stream, my man. Since you rate it, we're gonna do like one more freestyle and stuff like that. And then we're just gonna mainly just kind of focus on this stuff right here. Thank you so much for the fucking raid. Oh my god. Let's do one more quick freestyle for you guys for Phantom. Yo, oh snap. Definitely about to hit it in. Welcome, welcome to the fucking stream, guys. Hope you guys are definitely ready to enjoy yourself. Phantom is a, a long time supporter. It's the reason why I also have my PC, actually. So, Phantom, shout out to fucking Phantom. I hope the stream was amazing. Merry Christmas, bro. No, Merry Christmas to everybody in fucking stream. I hope you guys are definitely ready to enjoy yourself. So, let's do a quick little freestyle so we're not going to bore people too much. Um, one more time for you guys. Um, there we go. Oh, oh, see, I almost fucked up again. There we go. So, shout out to Phantom, guys. Thank you so much for the fucking raid, guys. He also plays Seven Days to Die and everything. You moved? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I I live in uh I live in Urbandale now. Back in uh, so chat, I'm in Iowa. I live in Urbandale, Iowa now. Yeah, near Des Moines. There we go. Let's change it up a little bit. Let's get a little higher.
much for coming into the fucking stream, my man. Thank you so much for the fucking raid. Let's get back into some of that p -p 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 Pantheon Rise of the Fallen gameplay, my guys. Seriously, let's get the music back on. Everybody, welcome to the stream. If you guys don't know what this game is, it is a pre-alpha version of Pantheon Rise of the Fallen. We are, we are definitely, uh... That's a lot of damage! That was a lot of fucking damage. Goddamn right. Thank you so much, my brother. I was just talking about the profession system in Pantheon Rise of the Fallen, and we're going to just kind of get into it. Also, now that we have the quest that we actually need for the fucking thing, let's go, let's go, let's go find some ore. Let's go do this. So we're going to focus on mining and everything for this character, uh, so we could get into jewel crafting and stuff like that for you guys. I am, I am a level three monk right now, chat. Uh, we could definitely find some level 3 uh, mobs around this area too. So I'm going to be heading over to the this side over here. So yeah, so definitely ready to have some fun. But how you been, Phantom? How's everybody been in chat? How y'all been so far? Going for it? Have fun, uh, have fun, bud, wife, and kid time. Oh, hey. Merry fucking Christmas. Be the best slum as you can be. And have a great so far. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, if you need to get to the family and stuff like that, man, get to the family. I'm not trying to stop you here. I hope you definitely have some fun, my G. Seriously. Been doing some, uh, been doing some, uh, uh, Echo, uh, uh Eco. Got servers up, uh, going. Oh, uh, got servers going up. That's awesome, man. That is fucking amazing. I'm glad things are going fucking well, then. Shit. That's awesome, man. That is fucking awesome. Yeah, no, guys, this is, it's really important just to, like, you know, definitely enjoy yourselves. Uh, by the way, I, if everybody hasn't said it for Christmas, there you go. Yeah, but I'm definitely going to be playing some Pantheon, kind of going into forward chat. Like, it, this is the game I will be streaming. I'm going to tell you guys this. This is the game I will be streaming when, uh, when everything kind of goes well. Oh, that's right. I need to get uh, Tether Pelts. That's right. I need to kill these guys. So with skinning also works like this too, chat. You basically go skinning and you basically just skin the fucking mob and it has a health bar. So it's not like World of Warcraft where you just like straight up skin it and stuff like that. They want they want crafting to feel more intuitive and same thing with gathering where you actually have to like sit there and actually skin the fucking animal. Uh, and I think the health bar mechanic might actually do well. It, I think it feels good to do it. Anyway, bud, have fun though. Thank you so much, Phantom, for coming into the stream. Everyone, definitely give Phantom a follow. He's a fucking G of the stream and everything else. So definitely, definitely, guys, seriously, guys, leave this man a fucking follow. He's a really fucking good, he's a really amazing person. And like I said, he's the reason why I have my PC. He helped me found, find it way back in the day. And still, I respect him ever, ever since then. Also, really funny streams, too. Yeah, thank you so much, Phantom. Thank you so much, guys. But yeah, to continuing though, what I was saying though, and I'm not saying, <laughs> not saying it was interrupting me or anything, but like, it's it's definitely it, this game definitely has its sense of adventure. You definitely kind of feel that vibe going to go in here. I'm a Batman lol. I'm a ba uh, Batman. Uh, Batman. <laughs> I mean, hey, you, see, you gotta do what you gotta do, my man. You gotta do what you gotta do. Lurk, fuck yeah, my guy. Mm. This is my solo troll. Nah, nah, you ain't no troll. You chillin'. You chillin'. You're always good in my eyes, my friend. All right, there we go. So yeah, you see right here, I'm gathering telepaths. Same thing. With, they also have wood cutting in this uh, in this game chat. So when it comes to wood cutting, same thing here. You basically just wood cut the shit out of it. And uh, the one of my biggest recommendations is that if you're going into mining and stuff like that. Definitely craft new tools. There is a, there's a quest that tells you that gives you a quest to um to craft new tools and stuff like that. Get the new tools because the new tools will definitely allow you to craft to hit faster and allows you to uh, hit harder when it comes to these crafting materials. So the more and more you upgrade these materials and you put stacks and stats and stuff like that, and I think they're going to be adding like separate stats like you know cra crafting efficiency and stuff like that. Oh, it gives you this and stuff like that. I think one thing they should have. A really cool stat for like some uh for crafting materials is multi strike like do what World of Warcraft did actually what World of Warcraft's profession system is now where they have like stats on like their actual like profession themselves. I think they should definitely play into that. They should definitely play into that. Because what it what it does and do like so a like, multi strike I think should be a thing on like your tools. Uh like there's a chance that like, you know you, you have a you have a multi strike ability and this allows you to uh this allows you to, uh, you know, 
put a little bit of multi strike on your thing, so then you can have a little bit of fun with that. Um, I think I think having stats on um, crafting gear, like 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 pickaxes and stuff like that, or efficiency. You know, now you you get a little bit more out of it and stuff like that. You know, or um, or speed or something like that, or has a chance to do a critical strike or something like that. You know, like. Definitely, these are big things I think Pantheon should definitely look into when it comes to the crafting system. I know Nafel is the one who runs kind of how that he's the one who made this crafting system, and I think he did so. I think he did really good so far. I think when it comes to the when it comes to the crafting system in Pantheon, I think it really establishes what kind of what they're kind of going for. Where crafting is more meaningful, it adds a lot more to the game. It adds a, you know a sense of flavor. You know, it just it adds something to the game. And I think it really does do that. I think with the crafting system in Panthea Rise of the Fallen, it adds that sense of of momentum. And I, I think the best word I want to use, it has that sense of momentum. It has that sense of um it has that sense of like it it, it feels it has value. There you go, that's the fucking word I want to use. Value. When you craft this shit, you actually work for it, you actually get the gear, and it actually is powerful. Like, a lot of the gear is very much powerful into this game, and my bags are fucking full. Holy shit. Okay, um... You know, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of the burlock cloth. I know it's probably have to do a quest to get that, but I need that. There we go. Also, bags are gonna be the big thing. If you're an outfitter, oh my god, bags are gonna be... you. If you could craft bags, you're set. You are fucking set. If you go into skidding and stuff like that, that is a, one of the big things when it comes to, when it comes to uh, leveling outfitter, is that you can you can literally craft your shit, you know. Hi, damn it. Okay. Okay, I need to get rid of some shit. Uh, 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 I don't know if they're actually gonna be keeping the drinking and stuff. Like that was the mechanic for two four seven, but I think they just kept it in because they didn't want to feel like getting rid of it. Which I don't blame them. I'm gonna keep that. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of the snake skin. I don't need the snake skin. Oh oh. Oh is he? Oh he's hitting me. Oh, he's hitting. Oh, I died. Well, so much for that. Okay. Uh, well, well, I mean, I'm back home, so I can I can actually skin some shit. That's good. And he definitely watched for those good die bandits. Um, but yeah, no. When it comes to the, when it comes to the when it comes to this game, I did I did tailor and could craft bags, but I had already. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. I said outfitting. I'm sorry. I meant tailoring. I do apologize. Yes. Yeah, Haley, Haley, you are actually right. It is tailoring. Uh, I did tailor. I could craft bags, but I had already looted a six-lock bag from the foresters. Yeah, and the foresters. Oh, I forgot to mention that chat. Grind out the foresters. I know it seems like a bit. Too, I, I know it seems like a, a thing that sounds really fucking annoying, but grind them the fuck out. They drop some good ass shit. It is it, so fucking worth, and I could not stress this enough. Craft that shit out so good it's so good to do it there we go so good thank you so much Haley for actually mentioning that that was very that, that is a very important thing yeah if you craft that shit out chat you will not regret it I promise you that you could also craft the cooking system in the game is also in the game too uh, cooking is very important. I have not grabbed the thing yet because that was a dumbass part of me. But you can make cooking recipes and also drinks, which I did not know this until recently. You can, you can, uh, so food buffs and drink buffs stack. So they say so you can have a food and drink buff at the same time. And I think that was the intention to do that is so it makes it more meaningful to have cooking. So like most games, usually you can have a drink, you know, the drink would have this and the, the cooking would have this, but... They're two different things, and I think that's really, that's really, really good. I think having that in the game makes it so much better when it comes to cooking, because it just feels more meaningful. It feels more exciting to actually kind of like, oh shit, I have a drink buff now, and stuff like that. And I, if you guys also notice that I can find little crates and stuff like that, definitely, if you see a little crate, open it. 
They have really meaningful foods and stuff like that. So if you if you haven't done any cooking or crafting yet, they drop really good foods and stuff like that, like extra block rates, every this, every that. And it's really really good. Yeah, I I, I would not I, I would not recommend that enough. Oh oh yeah, and I forgot to mention this. Pantheon has climbing. I forgot. I like again. I'm showing off everything to you guys. So Pantheon has a climbing system that is really really good. Um, and the climbing is so good. It, so the verticality of of the game is so good. Like you have to actually climb up some. I know some of the dungeons you actually have to climb up to. Uh, I think Manor is actually one of them. And yeah, you gotta climb up to it, and you just kind of do your own thing, you know. Look at that. Now I have a question. Two point seven. Yeah. Okay. So these these are not too different. Oh, they are a little bit different, actually. See, if you have the monk hand wraps on... Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? You could dual wield this? What the fuck? This whole time! This whole time! What the fuck? I did not know this! So you could dual wield at hand wraps. Always thought you just had a one or something like that for just because of what the model looked like. Oh my god, dude, this changes everything. Holy shit! I fucked that bat up. That dude did not know what was hitting him. I think also one thing they should change is that if it's this if this they should have like an extra slot here or something like that so it count is or, or it, when it when it uses your registers to use your thing it doesn't fill up a slot i think that's just mainly there just to check to see if you have enough space in the bags that's about it that's the only thing that's the only way i could really think about that so yeah but i completed two quests so that's pretty good yo has one five fuck yeah dude yeah nice good job my man been jumping from the goddamn stars. Okay, I don't think there's anybody here. There's a, there's a crate right here. This is what I'm talking about right here. Ooh. Oh, run, 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 run. Oh. Oh, someone clipped that. Oh my god, that was so close. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's empty. Oh, okay, so no one's here and then stuff like that. No, no, they were coming back. But this is good, though. So I got plus five. <gasps> the Serpent Surprise. Plus five of physical crit rate. And plus five physical, uh, plus, plus five spell crit rate. That's amazing. And this one's 30 uh, disease resistance. That's actually pretty fucking good. It's really good. We're going to be using this food right here, then. This food buff is going to be insane. He's level 7. Oh, he's getting his ass fucking handled. I mean, he could probably handle it because he has regen and replenish is so good for my, uh, uh, shamans. Yeah, okay, guys. Holy shit. That's really fucking good. That's really fucking good. Let's attack this deer. And also, when you like target, you can also target an ally and uh, also a thing at the same time, which I like that. I also love the sultriness of deers because they actually get scared instead of uh, actually attacking you. I actually really like that. That's a really cool concept where it's like, oh, the deers are getting scared. Oh, fuck. I do like that mechanic and stuff like that for when it, when it comes to the soul, some social aspects. It's like they all just don't attack you. They're just like, oh, yeah, no, I'm scared. Holy shit, I'm going to run. Which I love that. But going back to what I was talking about with crafting, I think what the one, another thing they should add for crafting is definitely um uh, now when I say this, I'm I'm gonna say this as for somebody who doesn't hasn't really went deep into crafting. Uh that's weird. 
Uh, yeah, with someone who hasn't really went really too deep into crafting, I'm assuming when you do like a lot of the crafting like stuff into this game, it's it definitely takes some time to really kind of get into it. There we go. I don't really need to skin these guys any further. I just need to do it for the quest because I'm mostly focusing on mining. But everybody, welcome to the stream. For those who are just coming in, um, for those who are just coming in, we are playing Pantheon Rise of the Fallen Pre-Alpha. We are also playing Monk to kind of show off a lot of the gameplay, like features and stuff like that of this game. Um, I do love what we have, what they got here. Um, like Soul Shuriken is so good, dude. So fucking good. And Wandering Fist is so nice too. Just getting that free dodge off an of enemy. If you could time it really well, you can definitely, you can definitely take uh, a lot of their shit away. And it really, what it has really established as monks is definitely like yeah, the other the dodge. Now I need to get the hemp for the quest. Cause your boys love that. Oh, somewhere to take it. Oh no, it's right there. Okay. Yeah, and though, and I love this shit so much. But those who are coming into chat, if we, if you guys are playing pre-alpha or one or are playing uh, alpha. How is everybody going and what class are you going to be choosing in Pantheon Rides of the Fallen? For those who are just coming in or those who want to repeat their answer, go right ahead. Uh, what class are you guys going to be playing in Pantheon Rides of the Fallen? What class are you excited for if they have not added in like Summoner, Ranger, Necro, fucking uh, a, a Bard and stuff like that? Like, what, what are you guys excited for when it comes to uh, Pantheon Rides of the Fallen? Like, what, do, what are you guys uh, going to go for? Aren't they changing some of the crafts? Like bags uh, would be four slot, uh, uh, eight slot instead of four slot. I do believe so. Read over the patch notes, and I don't know if they already happened yet. Oh no! So these are planned. So the patch notes that I think came out were supposed to be an update that was that was going to be for you guys in alpha. For those who are in alpha who have not been able to play because they delayed it a bit, I think they did like a stress test recently. Um, but basically, yeah, they did a, they did they did uh, that, and uh, they couldn't go past the update because they had some bugs and stuff like that. But yes, to answer your question, yes, they um, yeah, I think they were they were gonna be changing that too. Oh shit, I didn't have enough space. Fuck. Uh, we can get rid of the deer hoof. We don't need that. This is why bags are so important in this game. So you can carry more, so you don't have to constantly run back to city and stuff like that. Yeah, tailoring is really really good though. I have not delved into tailoring, so honestly, Haley, Haley, I actually, I actually, uh, yeah, I, I definitely, definitely need that. And I, it, with the back system, you should get more than that. But did you already farm out, Haley, did you already farm out the fucking, uh, bags that already? I'm assuming you already farmed out the bags because you said you were crafting, you could craft them, but you already have them. You can hold four of them. There we go. And this quest, one of the quests is, uh, get three golden potatoes. So I just got to find the wild, uh, stuff and then get golden potatoes. Yeah, I did. I did not, uh, get far, very far. I crafted a pile of bags and a full set of gear. That's smart. That's very smart. Yeah, that's very, very fucking smart actually, because yeah, crafting gear in this game is very important. Very, very important. Like it's, it is, it is way too good. Um, and I think, I think it's nice. I think it's very nice that you can like, you know, do that and shit like that. What was it? Oh, I need some pine. I need pine trees too. Definitely. I love the crafting quest because it gets you kind of introduced into crafting a little bit. Um, uh, and like how to, so it doesn't really tell you like how to do it like 100%, but it just tells you like, Hey, do this real quick. Go figure it out. And I kind of like that. I kind of like that sense of just trying to figure out the crafting itself is definitely something that's confusing at first very confusing at first and again definitely in the works uh they are definitely in the works of that one uh but i i, I do like it where where they're kind of going with it yeah but i like that yeah all right uh yeah bags are in your bank or boxes uh so you i think you can, you can actually craft uh boxes too yeah, you could you could you could put boxes in there too. Yep, which I do like that. I do like that to increase your bank slots. You could just craft like crates, and I think that's wood. If that is that if that's wood shaping, right? Or what the wood uh, cutter glass or the wood, wood cutter profession? I do believe so. That can make those. I might be wrong. 
So definitely there are benefits. The, 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 in this game, crafting is really, really good. Like, you could actually be really good shit when it comes to... Uh, when it comes to a lot of this shit. Yeah, dodge that. Oh, yeah, that fucking wandering fist is so good too because you can dodge like things like scratch and shit like that. Oh, come on. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Come on. Yes. There we go. Oh shit. Get rid of the glands. There we go. Uh, I went out. Uh, I, sorry, I went out to uh to find cotton nodes and end up digging, uh, digging at level five after finding and then looting the cotton. Then I uh, died to off a cliff. My course ended up at a cave entrance with level ten plus mobs. Oh fuck that. You, the best way I would say to get out of that situation is to have a shaman get you the buff. I mean, I'm assuming you already got your bags or something like that, but, uh, yeah, no, uh, it's to get a shaman to give you the, if you have, if you find a level, like, I think level eight shamans get this, uh, the wind shredder buff. And if you can get two of them, you can get, if you can count two, cause they, they the wind shredder buffs does stack. And if you guys don't know what the wind shredder, you see a little stamina bar, the yellow, yellow, yellow bar right here. That's your stamina bar. That's because you can sprint and climb and everything like this in the game. So it's going to use your stamina. Or sorry, your endurance bar. Sorry, endurance. Uh, your endurance bar gets... It says you can create an infinite endurance bar. Basically, if you have two shaman put in two different buffs. Of two different wind strider buffs. And it doesn't have to like, be like different ranks. It just like stacks. It just naturally just stacks. And you can have that buff on you. And you can literally run... Climb and do anything almost infinitely. It's not actually infinitely, but it's almost there because it barely goes fucking down And so you can basically just sprint everywhere without having to worry about you know the, Having being exhausted and stuff like that. So if I sprint right now It uses my bar and stuff like that. And so you can kind of see how that works, which is, which is really cool I do like the sprint mechanic in this game. It's it, it actually helps a lot when it comes to exploring makes things feel more intuitive like that's a dust bat that motherfucker's red. If I fight him, if I fight dust bats, especially with the rabbit ones, you really got to be careful with the rabbit uh, dust bats because they will fuck you up. And in nighttime, that's another thing you have to also watch out with nighttime. A lot of mobs turn rabid. And of course, as you probably figured, that means they attack you on fucking sight. That means you're on sight. So they will attack you very quickly. Also, a little, little, little node thing, if you guys didn't know about this, if you come over here, you teleport to the enchanter and the, uh, you teleport to the starting area for everything else. And look at that. I actually needed these. Wild herbs are really important, actually. Uh, yeah, I can get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wild herbs are really important to grab. They have a, they have a chance of ca uh, dropping you time. And, well, uh, fine, but time. Um... Mm. And that's really good. That's, that's, that's used for actually a quest too, to craft some boar meat. Let me see, yeah. But excuse me, miss, I saw you from across the room. Yeah, no. So I, I think the crafting system in this game is really good. Like they, they have a lot of shit in this game and stuff like that. I did. What, I, I'm gonna say. I'm also putting. I'm gonna put it OOC. Level. Oh shit. Level three monk looking for group. If I can get into a group, that would be nice. Yo, it's a good foundation, uh, but still needs a lot of work. Oh, 100 fucking percent. Hey, I got to do a group. Nice. So these guys, these guys have just invited me to group, which is awesome. We have a dire lord and a cleric, it looks like. Don't know your name, but excuse me. And I agree with that. I'm gonna grab that. I do like the I do like the starter zone. Uh especially with the uh, with the changes they're making with uh dust. Uh broke a lot of things about it. Wait, oh explain. I did not know about this. Hold up. 
Also, Rancid, welcome to the fucking stream, my man. Yeah, no, explain that, please. If you don't mind me, if you don't mind explaining that, I did not know that they were changing that. All right, I'm gonna do a little thing. Don't ever really do this, guys. I'm gonna do this slash duck. Slash duck just sends you back to your starter area, but I needed that so I can hurry to get back so I can meet up with my group. Oh, well, oh shit. One second. That's wrong, baby. Oh, thank you. My fiance made brownies chat and she gave me so and I'm very happy. He's so sweet. Oh, I love that woman to death. So I, I love, I'm level six cleric. Uh, is the level three dire lord trying to think of a good spot for us. Oh, 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 nice. Might be good. Yeah, no, so sorry. But you need to, uh, you need a separate recipe to even use dust. Are you serious? Oh, wind shredder buff. Someone's putting on wind shredder buff. Fuck yes. Thank you so much. So this is what I'm talking about. The wind shredder buff. This is what I'm talking about right here, chat. It increases, also increases your speed too. Your sprint speed is a lot faster now. And you just do a lot more shit. So now I'm gonna hurt. I'm gonna hurt. Put all this shit into the bank. Get all this stuff in there. We're gonna use it later. There you go. There you go. Just clear bags. Get it re full reset. Yeah. Do you even have uh? Do you have the blood iron now? No. No. I'm level three right now. I'm level three. I'm just trying to meet up with a group. We're both near the wall. On my way. On my way. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, you need to improve schematics and that are so much harder to get. I did not know that. Oh, okay. Like, uh, okay. So, okay. So, Brooklyn things like the blood iron was supposed to get bonus stats with uh, with less AC, but now you need a separate recipe to even use the dust. So why? So why uh, even have the blood iron now? Which is true. Yeah, and you need to improve schematics. They were so much harder to get. They changed it uh, last. Uh, changed it last patch. Really? Okay. That's fucking awesome. That is fucking awesome. Well, it's like awesome to hear about this. Like, I did not know about this. I did not know about this. And shit, actually, let's pull out some stuff from my bank while we're at it. Yeah, we're gonna be doing. Some, we're gonna be doing some more killing chat. Don't worry. So we're not just. We're not gonna be stalling out time too much. We need that. What was the other quest that we had to do? No, okay, that was just the other two. Yeah, Dire Lords have like the worst starting zone, in my opinion. There we go. And I like to do the asteroid quest. I like with the quest, like they tell you to get these items right, but they don't actually take it away from you, which I think that's smart. I think they should keep that in the game, whether it was like a feature or not. Oh, nice. Gotta increase intellect buff. Nice. That's fucking great. Dragon Fist, I, this guy is a fucking amazing monk. Holy shit. So, okay, so here's my question. When it comes to changing the dust, are they gonna increase like the rates of it? Oh, we're getting more buffs. Hell yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's fucking awesome. Like, I hope, I don't think so. They want to make it much harder to add stats to craft items. That's understandable. I think I can see that from perspective because you don't want to make motherfuckers too, like, OP. So you see with the endurance, I could just run a lot fa fa farther now. 
This is why I love. This is why I love the crafting system. I mean, the crafting system, the buffs of shamans. And now, if you had two of the Windstrider buffs, you can get basically infinite fucking energy, and you just keep running. So our, our tank's right there, so we're both level three. And then Rev, he's like, oh, he's right here. So he's a level six cleric. Uh, and you can get up to six people in a group, by the way, chat. So there is, there is versatility within groups. And his name is oh, shit. Yo, thank you so much for the fucking follow. Wait, is it not saying who's following? Oh, yo, Ranson, thank you so much. Wait, the uh, run speed stacks also, they seem broken. Yeah, no, it's fucking amazing. I fucking love it. I fucking love it, dude. There we go. Yo, thank you so much for the follow, Ranson. Yo, where are the brownies good? Oh, I haven't even tried them yet, baby. Sorry about that. Mm. Oh fuck, you are good. Yeah, the run yeah, the run speed above dust stack. Yep. Yep. Mm. Fuck yeah. Mm. 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 Oh. All right, man, it's time. All right. Sorry about that. I had to eat this fucking brownie. It was so good, but baby, you did an amazing job on the fucking brownies. Holy shit. So getting five, whatever is, um, uh, the soul spell is named, uh, will make you, uh, flash. So it's the, um, it's the, um, what do you call it? The, uh, yeah, the wind is, yeah, wind strider, wind strider. And I think you get that at eight. I think, I think you can only get up to four now. One each mastery level. For, oh, that's right. Yep. I forgot, I have wind shredder. I don't think they do, so. I think it's actually coming over here for bandits. is actually a lot better because you get more bandits over here. I miss Fuzz Ruckus, man. That, that shit was so fun to see. Uh, I think you can only give to four right now for each one of Master Skill. Yeah. By the way, guys, for those who are just coming in, what class are you guys going to be playing in Pantheon Rise of the Fallen? All right, let's get down here. Yeah, playing wizard right now. Oh, nice. How's that going? Look at that. I love when you taunt something as a higher con than you. And it just it just gets it, it just gets like dangerous. Good tabbing over uh, while uh, matting. Nice, Justin. Fourteen. Congratulations, my man. Seriously, that's fucking huge. That's fucking huge, my man. Oh fuck! I need to target the burglar. Come on, there we go. Okay, we got that down. 
Yeah, I know. Yo, undecided. I want to know more about this, some of the classes. I think I played Monk and EQ and Warrior. Nice. Then you're gonna love Pantheons, dude. Definitely Pantheon would definitely give you that that sense that sense of uh, combat. Oh, fucking bow staff. Oh, I can show you guys some bow staff gameplay. Yeah, that fucking tank. Yeah, so the bow staff gameplay is interesting. So I can show you guys this. So now, so this, so there was two types of staffs in this game. You got regular staffs and you got bow staffs. The reason why make bow staffs are really important is because they can actually hit a lot different. They hit two times instead of one. And they're only used for monks. Yo, yo, yes, hell yeah. Keep catching those stars, my man. Oh, they got the ringleader. That's a named. I think that's a name right there. Holy shit. Oh, I can't hail him. Yeah, the, the combat animation for that is supposed to be different. No, oh, they got another bow staff. Okay, I'm cool with that. I can definitely sell these. Hand to hand combat just seems a lot better, though. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, if I if I pull, then we at least we can we will at least get two. Yeah. The shadowy thug I'm worried about. Oh, sweet. So we got a boss. That's good. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm getting clapped. I'm getting clapped. I'm getting clapped. I'm getting clapped. Oh, okay. kill tank, kill tank, kill tank, kill tank. Good, 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 up, good, up, good, up. Yeah. There we go. Naki kills goat. Yeah, 100%, guys. By the way, guys, if you guys want to request some music, uh. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Come on. Woo! Fucking go. GG. Let's fucking go. That was hard. Have you played, uh, have you ever played, uh, Hayden's? Hey, oh, you mean, oh, Hades? No, I have not played Hades. No, I have not. That game looks fucking amazing, though. Let's rest up for a bit. Oh, my God. That was so fucking close. Woo, almost lost my buffs. <laughs> I would have been pissed. <laughs> Woo, nice. Good loot. He just got the ringleader's lockbox key. Oh my god, that was so fucking close, chat. Woo! Got so lucky. Yeah, no, I have not played Hades, but it looks fucking amazing. Yeah, now, Nat King Cole, guys, by the way, exclamation point SR, any song from SoundCloud and YouTube, you can queue up into chat right now. So if you guys want to queue up some music, please do. You don't have to listen to my jazz or lo-fi and shit like that. You can put in some metal, put in some rock. I, If you, whatever you like to put on, put on some rap, something. If you guys want to put it on, please... I do, I, I do uh, recommend that you put it on, seriously. Oh, never mind. Oh, he's got to go. I love the fucking screams. Yeah, I know. I love this game so fucking much. They did such a good job with just the pre-alpha with the game. And I, 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 I'm excited to see what they're going to do this. Avenir's Pass is going to be hopefully really cool and stuff like that. But I need to get leveled up first so I can at least understand, you know, like how to actually do this shit. But next character I will be focusing on leveling, it will be a monk. Ooh, nice belt here. Also, I do love the fact that monks don't actually wear leather anymore. They wear cloth.
Oh shit. Yeah, no, dude. We're actually pretty. We're actually hitting pretty fucking hard, though. Yeah, no, chat. Yeah, no, guys. But in chat, and by the way, what do you guys think they should add into Pantheon of Rise of the Fallen to really make it great? That's my biggest question for you guys. Like, what do what do you think they should add into the game? Because in my opinion, they, they got some stuff that, yeah, like you said, like, it, it's definitely really good for pre-alpha, but that definitely has a lot, long way to go. Uh, I talked about a few things in the, I, I, I think they should add into the game, whether it comes to professions, stuff like that. I do love how the monks, though, they don't use leather, they just use cloth. Which I think I think is smart for gameplay wise. Bring back, bring back the old graphics. Ah, I mean, you're not wrong. I do like the newer. I do. I I'm, I one have grown, but I also do like the old, uh, newer style though. One hundred percent. No, understandable. I like it. I like it. what they need to do is fix some of the animations. Definitely uh, gruffing up the. The uh with the with the style more play like definitely play with it a little bit more I think. Oh shit! You there? You there? Oh shit! Come on, get his ass, get his ass, get his ass, get his ass. Don't heal me, don't heal me. Oh fuck, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to hit her. Fuck. Oh, damn, he didn't have Wind Shredder buff on him. Fuck. Damn. If he could get out of there, he could definitely get out of there. Uh, animations can't uh, strafe the game, uh, uh, strafe in game or two. Yeah, animations, you can't strafe in game either. Yeah, that, that, that's the hardest part, yeah. Definitely need to fix that. Mountain size look uh, too plain. They need more detail, like kind of the ground, the grass, etc. I think they are okay, but I just hope it helps them pump out a few more, a uh, few zones in 2024. Yeah, 100%. Damn, Rev has a, Rev just lost the EXP. Yeah, I know, dude, I agree. Like, there, there's definitely some things they should definitely work on with the art style, 100%. I'm gonna keep this bow staff. I'm gonna get rid of this. And I just leveled up to level four, so now I get cheese spear. That's actually gonna be really fucking good. There we go, new ability chat, cheese spear. Fuck yeah! Now what cheese spear does is uh, it's uh definitely okay. So increased constitution damage bonus by seventy five percent. So this one still scales with my constitution, which I think this is actually a tank ability, in my opinion. I'm actually gonna put that there. RFC, actually no RFC. That one we go right there, and then this one. Am I missing an ability? I think I'm missing an ability. No, nah, no, nah, we're good. So both of these are the ones that do have they have the master reduce cooldown, blah blah blah, and yeah, no. So definitely this this is definitely a high damaging chi ability. Um, and I think I think it's a really damn good one. Oh, he de-leveled. Yeah, my boy, my our healer de-leveled. Let's go find his body again. They should also definitely have a thing that help find your body a little bit faster. Uh, when you die and you like lose your like, if you lose exp or make your body.
Yeah, no, it's definitely a lot of stuff. They, like I said, there's a lot of stuff they should add, and it's and if you guys do have ways to do that, remember to always enter it into the Pantheon uh, thing too. So at least at least it would, it would somewhat get heard, you know. I'm actually gonna switch out to that. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see how both staff gameplay works out. So right here, I'm gonna switch those over just in case. There we go. And bow staff animation, they definitely need to bring back the old bow staff animation because originally you held it like an actual like bow staff, like like a monk would, and you like you like boom boom, but now it's just like one hit. I definitely miss the old bow staff animation. While waiting a uh, release, wait, was it? Oh, location. Oh, oh, really? Oh, that's smart. I didn't think about that. I didn't know you can actually do that. I did not know you can actually put like your location down. Dude, imagine when we start having add-ons for fucking Pantheon Rise of the Fallen, dude. When your game comes out, hopefully. I honestly think with the direction they're going, and if they go a little bit faster, we can definitely get this game out by 2025. If things go well, if that's just that's hopeful, very extremely hopeful thinking. Oh, that's right. No, okay, I was right. Yeah, when it comes to this game, yeah, it's it's definitely definitely needs a lot of work. But again, like I said, this game is fun as shit for what it is, though. I think the most uh, needed uh, needed feature is able to uh, hail. Yes, that is a big fucking feature. Thank you for pointing that out. Thank you so much. Hailing in this game, it, hailing in general, is so important. So you can call out names, call out certain mobs you're going to be attacking, everything like that. Hailing is so good. They, they need to have that in the game. One hundred. I that was a very good, very very good one right there. But you need to understand how uh, location uh, command works. Okay, that makes sense. Yep, that I understand. Mm. Oh, huh. Ow. Beard hair. Um, there we go. They're all coming to us right now, so that's good. While we're waiting, is that bat blue? Okay, sweet. I'm going to get my staff attacks up. And what Chi Blast does is just it just gives, does a big ass blast. I don't think they have the animation for that one done yet. Oh my god, I almost died there. Oh, I almost fucking died there. Holy fuck. I think the most needed, yeah, besides the hail, yeah, no, hail I think is gonna be a great fucking feature. Oh shit, what time is it? Oh fuck. Please gonna get ya. Not yet, not yet. We're gonna get this. Key Blast has have, have animation. It does. Okay, let me see. Let me see. In an apple? I don't even have an apple, nah. No. Oh, let me see. Let me see. Oh, it does. That's good. At least it still has an animation. So it, it doesn't. It's so when you're up close to it, it doesn't have the the initial animation doesn't do that. So that's just some small things we can fix right there. Oh. 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 oh my PC just did a weird thing. Okay, hold on one sec, chat. There we go. There we go. Okay, my PC just did a weird like blink for a second. Oh, 
There we go. Get a little nice little buff. Yeah, no, I, I'm actually ready for this shit, chat. Oh, he's using a lower level one. Uh, do do you not prefer to hide uh, the stand bar when when full? Nah, I like to always know like just I just I have it mentally just there next to me. It's nice to kind of have on the screen. Here, one second. There we go. Um, so mobs will have green HP bar when you have the aggro target. Am I misunderstanding something? Um, they would have. Uh, actually, that's a really good fucking question. I think I think I think the green is just like showing that you're in the combat with them. Uh, actually, I think it's this way. I love what my staff attacks. There we go. It seems to be gray when I uh, when the tank had it. Hmm. Yeah, actually, let, let me still, let's double check that because it turns green when I attack him. But I guess it does. I guess it does. It must be like either a uh, interface thing. It might be a glitch or something like that. Yeah, we can drink. Sorry, that is messing. Yeah, the color health bars have been bugged for a while. Okay, so it is bugged. Okay, yep, there is a bug. If I can get my staffs because it's part of level ten, I might get a new ability or something like that. Which also I love about that too, with the weapon skills and stuff like that, is that you can um. You you can also get like really good shit out of this too. Yeah, he's gonna attack me if I get fucking close. See if I can. Okay, I think there's a there's a name that actually spawns around here. I think it's like the old wolf or something like that. He like spawns like right over here. Oh, old gray. Aimed. Oh, fuck, I forgot. Social. These guys are not too dangerous right here. Oh, we got him. Yeah, I love I love this though. I love this. Yeah, I know. We got a boss fight. Let's go. I died to this fucker too many times. I I, I don't know what he drops, but I hope it's something good. When Cheap Blast does hit, oh my god, he's gonna hit fucking heavy. Oh, I got a new ability, Strike, I knew it. Oh wow, it bypasses their armor class, holy shit. Is there a macro for incoming, uh, yeah, I think there is. I think there is a macro for that. Ooh. Oh, 
Oh wait, is this soulbound? Oh fuck. Oh no. It's a quest. Ancient Wolf Pell. Okay, there's a quest I just got from that. I didn't know that. I didn't know he dressed his voice. Alright. So we got consecutive off. So then you get consecutive at this level. And so that means with this one, you strike on here. So we're going to work with both staff for a little bit. I'm going to see where this takes us, where this goes. All right, so over here. I don't even know they pulled. Hmm. There we go, because Rev just re-leveled up. Nice. Nice. Focus on this guy. She blasted him. He resisted. Fuck. I also do love that they don't. We don't have like a mana bar, so it does uh, playing melee does help with monk. Um, and there is a macro by the way. By the way, uh, stat. Uh, sh oh, sorry, sh uh, is it Shat? Shatarg? Shatarg? Yeah, Shatarg. If there is a, a macro, you, please let me know. Definitely, I would love to check that out. Oh, nice. Nice. It's also got a thing right here. There you go, guys. Gave him some gloves. Yeah, no, I like this shit, though. So, next, next one I'm going to definitely get into. I'm going to definitely save up my mastery points to get into this one. Because having that extra projectile speed and 5% uh, so of 5 meter range is so good for when it comes to pulling. So, I, I'm definitely going to definitely gonna go in that. Yeah, he's level 4 now, chat. Okay, let's fucking go. Well, the next guy. Yeah, this is basically what monks do. I, and I like I, the one thing I love about it, the concept though is camping. It's definitely a concept I need to get back into, learning. No, we're gonna take that. I guess he is. All right, here we go, chat. Also, Dire Lords are really good too because they they have a their taunt is not like an initial taunt. It la it lasts for a while and it stacks. It gives it's like increasing stacking debuff, and what it does is increases the threat that he has on the target. So oh, on the initial on the initial pull, he won't be able to you know do it, hit as hard or sorry taunt as hard, but throughout the fight, he just gets he just holds aggro. Which I do love that. All right, here we go. I love the range, how much range I can get from pulling. I just bypass armor with this. And a lot of strength and dexterity. So definitely strength is something that also I noticed that if you go into a lot of these things, like strength is definitely a big thing for like for like uh bow staff play. All 
All right, here we go. Building out the house. There you go. But yeah, I know chat. What are you guys' thoughts on everything, though? How's everything been so far? And honestly, are you guys ready for Christmas, by the way? Merry fucking Christmas for those who are just coming in. And he's tank uh, helmet. Just another extra armor has to be good. Yeah, the, the concept in it, Merry motherfucking Christmas Eve. Yo, TNT, welcome to the fucking stream chat. Yo, TNT, welcome, welcome. And that's basically what this is what this is basically what monks do. They just go in. Oh shit, I didn't even pull them. That's basically what we do. We right, we just come back here, we fight shit. Alright, here we go, chat. Okay, I'm gonna pull this one. Burn it too with this one. You and I use a new hand. Yo, fuck yeah. Wish you, uh, wish you the best and full happiness to you. Fucking same, dude. Oh, wow. Kill at the same time. Ooh, gloves. If you wear leather, holy shit, this you will definitely prosper off this shit. Yeah, he's getting full fucking set. You can get a full set of gear. Monks are good for people who always want to be moving. Yeah, same. That's lit, and it's great for content too. Oh my god, can I get him? Oh my god, okay, I got him. 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 Go 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 go. It's just too right. Okay. Oh shit. 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 Okay. Heal me up. Heal me up. Oh. Target ringleader, target ringleader. There you go. I'm gonna run back. I'm gonna get I'm gonna run back. Fuck! God damn it. At least I'm level four. Again, I'm still again I'm low at least I'm level four. And I'm glad I kind of died though, because my bags are kind of full. So, ah, I thought you didn't, you don't stream today, uh, man. Yeah, no, I am. No, today, I today's an exception because Pantheon Rise and Fallen just allowed us to stream for a week. So I'm I'm streaming the pre-alpha of this game, Pantheon Rise and Fallen. I've talked about it before on my stream of you, um, to you guys in the past. So you know that this was this is going to be the main game I am going to be uh, streaming constantly. There we go. Oh damn, the rib die. Oh damn, rev die. Oh what? The fuck? Just fell down just a little bit. Wow, okay. Okay game. Okay, game.
Damn, I got my ass fucking whooped. All right, trying to eat my fiance's chicken brownie. Mmm. 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 I'm about to say, what the fuck? Just baby tonight. Mm, 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 mm. Everybody, welcome to the stream, by the way. Uh, for those who are just coming in playing Pantheon, uh, what class you guys are playing or, want, or going to play when Pantheon uh, comes for you to play? What class are you guys excited for? Mmm. My fiance made me some brownies. Fucking shit. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god, so good. Oh fuck. Mmm. Mmm. There we go. Oh, yeah, swallow that shit. Oh, sorry about that, chat. Did not mean to go silent on you guys. I tried to devour that for a second. Yeah, no, but I, I, I think what they, the, what we got here is really good. I will try to stream tomorrow too, chat. I want to mind you, but Tuesday we will be doing like an all-day stream. Uh, Wednesday we won't be able to be on due to my fiance's birthday, so I will have to cancel off the Wednesday. Uh, my fiance's birthday's there, and I, you know, got to celebrate with her because you know, lady's birthday. Uh, but Thursday, Thursday we are going to be streaming again all day Pantheon. Friday. We're going to be streaming Pantheon to have to go to work to an extent. And Saturday, same thing. And I think Saturday is actually the last day I can do it. Uh, actually, let's double check that. No, actually, no. Saturday we'll be streaming. Sunday we'll be streaming. So we're going to be streaming every day except Wednesday uh, for Pantheon content. For Pantheon. And now, now I can play this game, you know, like I really want to. It would be nice. So yeah, so don't worry, guys. We if I say, uh, can you all uh, can you do uh who all monk? And his name is John Yo, thank you so much for the fucking follow, my guys. Standing in fire. Welcome to the fucking stream, my man. Uh, these are all the monks. The highest level is a level ten, which is Dragon Fist. Yeah, Dragon Fist is the highest monk that we have right now. Yo, standing, standing fire. So stand in the fire. Welcome to the fucking stream, my dude. Oh, he just. Oh, what'd you find? The B rock. Ooh, tank should take that one. Tank should take this one. Where are you? Hey. You see those food crates and stuff like that? Yeah, no, you always take them. All right, I'm gonna go eat. No, take your time, man. Take your time. Merry fucking Christmas, TNT. Merry fucking Christmas, everybody in chat. Everybody, Merry Christmas. Stand in fire. What class are you playing in Pantheon Rise of the Fallen? Uh, no, what? You put the food buff on? I noticed the bandit camp has a lot of crates in it. Decimate. That's an interesting ability name. Yeah, no, we're definitely, we're definitely getting in here, chat. That monk gameplay, baby. Looking you out like, oh. 
She wanna know. Yeah, I know. We got this chat. Okay, so what I need to pull... Let me check inside here. Oh, oh! I like that though. Like, this motherfucker scared the shit out of me. I'm really excited to go into like goblin caves, fucking uh, like a lot of the dungeon content in this game. Oh my god, that shit looks fucking fun. Oh, I guess it's supposed to be like water here. Oh, that's weird. I'm magic. <laughs> Oh, run, 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 run. That was the worst pull I could have ever done. <laughs> the puller's nightmare right there. Oh my God. Oh, the guy, they're gonna get me. Oh my God. Oh, no, 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 uh. Oh my god, run. Run. Don't run back to me, no! Okay, we fucked up again. <laughs> I can't wait till he gets res at level eight, dude. Do clerics, uh, clerics at level eight, and actually all healers at level eight, they get res, and oh my god, that, that saves you so much fucking time. Oh my god, this is so bro, so bull. Man, I got my ass clapped on that one, chat. Holy fuck. Oh my god. All right, let's head back to our group. So I'm, here, I'm not trying to waste you guys' time in chat, by the way. So I do apologize for dying a lot. But yeah, this is this is the Pantheon. It's the Pantheon experience, you know? You're going to be dying a lot, you know? You're going to be you're getting your ass whooped. And boy, am I getting my ass whooped. I am getting my cheeks fucking clapped around here. Also, if you ever get, like, fucking winded... Look at that. Skills. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, I know, but fuck it. Everybody, welcome to the fucking stream. If you guys have not left to follow yet, but your boy didn't fucking follow. As we're gonna be streaming Pantheon almost all week, so except Wednesday. Yeah, but you're gonna be streaming Pantheon all week, chat. Like I said, except Wednesday. So tomorrow we're gonna be on. I work, I, I only have to work Saturday, uh, I work Fridays through Mondays. So that's why my, my stream, my normal stream returns are Fridays through uh, my Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. At 5.30 p.m. U.S. Central Time. Because, you know, your boy in Iowa. Uh, but uh, one of the biggest things I would say is that if you guys do want to get some more Pantheon content in the future, I'm actually thinking about making Pantheon videos. It's just like talking about Pantheon. Um, or just like, you know, just if you guys have any more questions and stuff like that. For those who are coming in, if you guys are playing on Alpha. Uh, or, have, have, well, sorry. Have, you guys have Alpha access and don't have access to play today. Uh, you guys can definitely ask me questions. Definitely ask questions. Um, so maybe someone in the chat could probably answer too. So definitely, yeah. If you guys have any, if you have any shit to ask or any shit to say, definitely. Um, like good example for those who are just coming in. What class are you playing in Pantheon? Like what class are you playing currently right now? Uh, what class are you wanting to play? If they haven't added it to the game yet. What are you guys? What are you guys feeling today? What are you guys feeling today? Also, for those also here, Merry fucking Christmas. I hope you guys are definitely enjoying yourself. Seriously. All right, let's get in here. Nice. Yeah, I know. Fucking, I'm so ready for this, guys. Playing Muck is really fun, but man. I'm getting my ass handed to me. I keep forgetting how, like, when you when you when it comes to pulling, you have to really be careful. Especially this hut right over here. They will clap your fucking cheeks. When did you pledge? Are you, are you older than you could want? Or Vanguard player? Oh, God. I'm 24 years old. 
<laughs> to give you guys to give you guys also a little bit of a thing i've been following pantheon for t since 2017 been pledged for a whole year now so i pledged beginning of 2022 when i got my taxes and i was like oh, i have a thousand dollars i'm gonna use that for 750 of that on pantheon so it was worth it though i actually i have having fun with the community and stuff like that There we go. Yeah, I know. I've been following Panthea for a while now. Uh, I, I'm a 24-year-old guy. But I just want to do me. So, not EQ1, Vanguard player, just pledged out of the blue at a game. So, I discovered Pantheon through co-streams. I started, well, I, my first MMO was World of Warcraft. I've been playing WoW since I was like seven. But, uh, I was in the gaming family. My dad played well, my brother, sister, my brother, and my sister, my cousins, my, you know, yeah, my brother, my sister, my cousin, my mother, my father, I don't know if I'm not my mother, my mom didn't play games, but my dad played games a lot. Uh, and we were raised in a gaming household, you know, we played all types of shit, I played RuneScape, I played WoW, I played all types of MMOs, Nether, Remember Winter Online, fucking just all types of shit. But, I love, I grew a tree with EverQuest when I heard about P99, I was like, how old was I? I was like 14, 15 when I, started, when I heard of P99. When I heard of like EverQuest. Learned the history of EverQuest. Learned like what, who created WoW and shit like that. Just like the whole thing with that. I uh, was always intrigued with P99. Always wanted to join it, but I, I, I'm a dumbass and I don't know how to like, you know, download P99 because I'm a fucking dumbass again. Like, let's reiterate that. My dad's a computer tech. He, he could have he could have helped me, but he's like, nah. And so <laughs> he's like, you'll learn. And so I was like, shit. And so, um, but yeah, never had the chance to actually play old school EQ. Uh, I did play retail for a little bit, like just to try to test it out. Wasn't like it was good. It was just like nothing like I can't really grasp until I know I had to like get past like until I get to end game content. But but I discovered Pantheon Rise and Falling uh, through a co stream. Uh, they they posted it. It happened on my recommendation, so I just happened to watch it, and I was like really, I was like immediately addicted to the gameplay that they were going for. And I just want to like really like see this game. And um, I remember Co. Yeah, it was Co. Played with Monk. He was doing the Monk and shit like that. They were like in a floating tower, but it was like the first one was like they were killing some bandits. Um, but then yeah, no, they they it was really cool. Uh, I really start getting uh, I actually funny enough start discovered Pantheon Plus because they were the podcast talking about um, uh, what do you call it? Pantheon Rides of the Fallen. And so I, I was I was really addicted to listening to the podcast of the entire time. You know, just really getting into it and be like oh my god this is really cool like this is just like like really getting the ideas for the game i remember listening i remember watching theric's fucking lore videos and then i discovered chris kane's uh fucking lore videos which god fucking forbid part of one of my favorite videos from chris kane if you have not watched chris kane like lore like tellings like he's reading off the lore for pantheon rise of fun with like if you guys have not heard that shit yet Dude, it's a fucking legend at this. His voice acting is like so good, my guys. And um, I I cannot recommend it enough. I cannot fucking recommend it enough. Like it's so fucking good. And the best part about it is that like I was really invested into the lore of this game. It sounded really fucking amazing. I think probably the, one of my favorite videos was the uh the one of the werewolves uh, the the uh, the twin headed god. That's what it was. And learning about the Lycanon and shit like that. And the werewolves and stuff like that. And. Oh my god. It was so good dude. I, I, I still. Would put on that shit. Even during work. Like if I want to lose it. Put on a podcast. I put on like Chris Kane lore videos. Or I put on some Pantheon Plus while I'm at work. So I can tell people. And they're like. Oh what's this? What's this podcast? And I, and I can go on a whole fucking rant about Pantheon Rise of the Fallen. It's my little trap to people who don't have never heard of the game. Um, but. One of the things I want to say is that, yeah, I, I'm a big fan of Pantheon. I love fucking Pantheon. And also, I'm starting to realize, I'm like one of the youngest people in the community. <laughs> like, I'm I'm just like, I, I feel like a little kid amongst, like, like I said, I'm 24. Most of the people who, like, follow Pantheon are like, yeah, okay. Like, you just said EQ1, Vanguard. Like, I have, even, I have only seen gameplay of Vanguard, barely. I, I, I've never thought about playing a Vanguard. I didn't. Even, I never even heard of Vanguard until I heard of uh, like what the how the game died video, you know. They even put the two and two together until like I think it was during uh when they were when they were talking about it, 
I'm younger in the community. I still have 10 years on you. Uh, I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm younger in the community and I still and I still have 10 years on you. Oh, I've heard of EverQuest. Yo, pass! Welcome to the fucking stream. Pass, don't you play Quam? <laughs> Vanguard was amazing. You should try the emulator. I should. I should. I would definitely I would definitely like to try that in the future. 100 percent I actually stream Embers of Drift, actually. I actually stream Embers of Drift content. Um started really getting into the content creator side of that whole like of the actual community of that uh of that game. Uh so if you guys want to check out Embers of Drift content, we definitely can. Um <laughs> Uh, but no, seriously, um, yeah, but I, I, I'm, like I said, I'm a big fan of Pantheon. I'm a big fan of what it, what it stands for. I've been through the, I've seen the ups and downs of this fucking game and I still, I still believe I, it, it's, it's been hard since the recent two, four, two, four, like, I'm going to tell you guys how much the two, four, seven actually like traumatized me. And I want to say like traumatized, like actually traumatized, but like just a like, jokingly traumatized was, um, uh, actually don't try Vanguard. It might change your life. Probably, fuck shit. You never know. I might, I might become like thirty-seven or something like that. You know, be like back in my day. <laughs> but um, no, nah, I, I, I would say this one, one thing I love about uh Pantheon is that like I, I really like, like, and like I said, the two four seven traumatized the shit out of me. Because every single time I see someone ever mention 24-7 of anything, like, oh yeah, 24-7 this, I immediately think of 247. I was like, I don't think they realized how traumatized they made the community. Because that almost became the death of Pantheon. Like, for real. Um, <laughs> and so, like, that shit was funny as shit, bro. I do, I do find it funny. Damn, dirty cheese spear. Holy fuck. I'm gonna go back to dual wielding because, uh, the staff is good, but, uh, hand to hand combat just feels a lot better. Yeah, no, but I mean, like, like guys, what, tell me your Pantheon journey. Like, what when did you guys get into Pantheon? When did you hear about it? What like when did you stay with Pantheon? You know, stick with Pantheon? If you don't like Pantheon, I'm expecting haters to come into chat eventually this like in one in one part of this week. I'm expecting them to come into chat. And I just want to know like if do you guys like if you if you do hate the game, like I wanna I wanna have a proactive like debate with these people. Like yeah, I mean debate, like discussion. I'm aim I'm aiming for a discussion more than a debate, actually, because it's like some most people when they don't like Pantheon, it's either, it's not even apathy because most people who have apathy for something they don't even, they don't even want to talk about it. They don't talk about oh this game's a scam. They don't say that. No, they they people who say that are people who have been who feel like they've been hurt, who feel like they you know they they got in there they didn't get the game that they wanted, and whether how what however that that may have turned into. And I feel like that's that, that's understandable. I'm not gonna sit here and like you know judge for someone, you know because they they felt hurt. I am a hater. Oh, 100%. Dude, yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> like he said, something like, so, I am a hater. Like, <laughs> oh my God. And that's it's just because most haters have been hurt. And I just want to say, like, most people, like, you know, they take it out in, their, in, in sometimes the you know, worst ways possible. But I, most haters, they just like to debate about the game. They like to debate why they feel like this game is not going in the direction that it's, it should be going into. And I don't blame them. I like I said, they have valid. A lot of people have valid arguments for Pantheon: Rise of the Fallen. But one thing I do want to say is that, like, I do love this game. I genuinely think this game has some hope. I genuinely think this is game. Like, yeah, with its ups and downs, they they were incompetent when it comes to their development. And I think two four seven was a big wake up call for them to basically get their shit together. And like, okay, if we're gonna make this new art style, we need to listen to the community on this one because if we fuck this up, we're fucked. Fucked. And so, um, I think that's really. But I played uh, ten years ago with uh, with graphic and uh, graphics and gameplay. We, we talked about love the old uh, EQ, loved Vanguard, and was stoked about Brad doing another game. Understandable. That's yeah, understandable. Yeah, that that's valid. That's valid. I mean, if you liked Vanguard, you liked EQ, you were like, you know what? Let's see where this can go. Um, and definitely the ideas have evolved throughout time. I will admit. But I think honestly with the new art style and the fact that they can make it work and the sound design and everything that, that came with it. Right now it feels like Eminem uh, is doing laps around Pantheon. Yeah. I understandable. 
And that, and that, and that feels like it. I, I don't blame you. Like I say, I do not blame you for that. I would never ever, I would never ever be like, you're wrong. How dare you? You know, Pantheon, they're doing great. Like, no, I would never do some shit like that. They definitely have a lot of work to do. What they need to do is just work on the game. Prove to everyone that they could work on this fucking game. These guys, hold up. I'm gonna see if these guys are trying to hit. We got for it, damn. <laughs> All right, what's that, guys? All right. Uh, unless wipe aggro happens. <laughs> oh, someone found key. All right, here we go. Where's my group at? They're like over here. Oh my god. Yeah, one thing with Monk, I, I, I'm sorry, not Monk. Uh, one thing with Pantheon, I also do hope that they do, is really like show people like, hey, we can do it. You know, show people they can do it. If they can show people that they can do it, then that's it. That's it. No one else can really say much besides like, oh, this game sucks, you know. And again, I think this game definitely, if they could show up Vela, Velia, uh, I'm sorry, not Velia, uh, uh, Avenues Pass, you know, show off the stuff, get people really get into the game, uh, make, move this into Alpha. When they can move this shit into Alpha is when they can really prove to people that they are making this game. And I think that's the biggest thing. If they can move it into Alpha, so don't push pleasures too hard. You know, we're going to be streaming. Let the pledges come naturally. Don't push pledges so hard. I think they, they need to stop doing that. And I know they need that to make the game. But again, the reason why I'm saying that is don't push it too hard. Is because uh, you're, it's going to draw more people like, oh, you're just trying to get our pledges and stuff like that. You know, people would just use that argument. But I think what you should, what you should do is focus on making the game, getting it out to, to alpha, and there you go. That's it. That's it. You know? If they can get that, if they can get that out of the way, they can they can solve a lot of their problems. Get more people in the game, stress test the fucking servers, get all that shit going, and then look at that, you're already you're already set in strength food. Fuck yeah. I don't know why their screams are funny as shit though. Like imagine someone just dying like that. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, I just punched you in the arm. You died, but calm down, my guy. Like, this motherfucker acted like it was the hardest punch in the whole world. Like, goddamn. <laughs> like, I punched this man in the nuts before he died. Like, shit. <laughs> that scream, I swear to God, it always, it always makes me laugh. And I know it sounds weird for someone that's dying in game, but still, it's just funny as shit, dude. Did we clear camp? I'm actually very happy. We had to clear camp. Wow. This is one of the few times I've actually cleared this camp. Usually most times we don't really fuck with the bandit camp over here because it's just how packed it is. But once you kind of like, if you like nick and nick and nickel and diamond it, I don't say nick it out, but uh, nickel and diamond, you could definitely get, uh, you can definitely clear this shit out and get some really good loot out of this. Like, I think honestly this bandit camp is like really good to grind out. Very good spot to grind out, in my opinion, because you can get a lot of levels out of it, get a lot of spools and stuff like that. Yeah, I know. I'm fucking happy. All right. What time is it? Oh, shit. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But the, uh, but if the game came out now, I will play three months. Uh, I I'll play three months, and I have since I pledged. When you pledged on Kickstarter, it told us that you would get around. Uh, it would be around uh 2017. Yeah. 
But a lot of stuff happened. A lot of stuff. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, no, I'm gonna do slash stuck just to kind of just get it back easy. Slash stuck, don't abuse it. Just like I, I'm just using it just so I can get back here. Oh shit! There we go. Let me sell all this crap real quick. All right, yeah, but chat. No, I seriously think I I really do like this discussion with you guys. Seriously, like I said, we're gonna be back tomorrow. Uh, we do have to get going, but do not leave yet. Do fucking not leave yet. All right, I am going to raid you guys off to someone who's also playing Pantheon. Uh, I think Pantheon Plus is streaming it now, if I'm correct. Is anybody else even streaming it? Okay, guys, there, there is somebody else. Oh, it's this guy. Oh fuck, yeah. Sweet, this is actually a really good person to play. Well, I'm gonna give, you, I'm gonna get off, guys. But do not leave yet. I'm gonna, I had to save a couple more things before I head out for you guys. And we're, while we're doing this, let's hit the raid. Let's hit the raid for you guys, so we're not, we're not just holding up too long. There's actually quite a bit to do here. Yep. Everybody, get in this fucking raid. Get in this fucking raid right now. If you have not left a follow for this stream, leave a follow. Also, uh, if you guys haven't joined the Discord, join the fucking Discord. So, oh my god, oh my god, sorry. Discord. There we go. Yeah, if you haven't joined the Discord, join the fucking Discord chat. We have uh, Josh Gar fucking playing Pantheon, Rise of the Fallen. Give this guy some fucking love, guys. I thank you all for coming to this fucking stream. This was 24 people. God fucking damn, guys. You guys are fucking amazing. Seriously, thank you so much for coming in here. You guys make these streams amazing. You guys always come in here with so much love. And now we have more people to share that love with. So, again, guys, be the best slum as you can be. Again, we will be back here tomorrow playing some Pantheon Rise of the Fallen pre-alpha. And we'll be also uploading this onto YouTube also. So, if you haven't followed me on YouTube, Annoying Llama is the same name. But again, join the fucking Discord, guys, so you guys know when I go live. I love you guys so much. Merry fucking Christmas. We will be doing a Christmas stream tomorrow. Merry fucking Christmas Eve. And just thank you all. Again. And if you guys like Pantheon, please share your love out there. And definitely have some fun. So guys, be the best as you can be. Definitely enjoy yourself. And I love you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all.